everybody, to this week's episode of Amiga Dawn, our Star Frontiers Alpha Hawks um, saga, I suppose you call it. Um, welcome everybody who's watching, uh, welcome everybody who's playing, um, say hello everyone. Hello. Hey. Excellent. Um, most people are here today, someone's dropping in late, but that's okay, we'll keep it, keep it running. Um, just a bit of, a little bit of housekeeping, um, all the current, um, Omega Dawn videos are up and available on YouTube, um, as are the current Deadlands videos for those who are watching both both streams. Uh, we'll get this one up as soon as we can. Um, we're not gaming next week uh, due to some medical procedures I have to undergo, uh, but we will be back the sorry not next uh, not playing next fortnight, but we'll be back the fortnight afterwards. Um, so uh, if you're tuning in. Live, that's what's going on there. When we left our intrepid group last time, they had successfully managed to avoid a major catastrophe uh, and destroy a virus carrying missile um, and even managed to arrest the uh, evil genius behind it. Uh, and we can call him an evil genius because he has the equivalent of a uh, Nobel Prize. So, <laughs> um, and uh, the uh, the group was uh, on their way back to um, the planet from the moon base, um, and I believe you were you were heading towards the main spaceport. Is that right? We hadn't decided where we were going towards. I believe. Had oh, we okay. left? Yeah, we're yeah, at the you, shuttle. Yeah, yeah, the shuttle lifted. I'm sure the shuttle lifted off. Okay. Yeah, we're in the shuttle flying back. We haven't said where we're going yet, though. Yeah, yeah. So where are you going, guys? Uh, I, I think the main spaceport seems okay. That's where our police friend is, and hopefully he's a lot more friendly than last time we saw him. <laughs> and uh, it's like the only place that we can land legally, more or less. Yeah, pretty yeah, much. So. Yeah, Not to be is... totally paranoid again, but... Are there any like UPF ships in orbit? No, no. There, there would be a U, there would be a UPF marshal's office on on planet, uh, probably in the capital. Um, uh, but the UPF is um, a bit like Interpol in terms of they leave local policing to local. It's only when it it, it goes interplanetary as opposed to intraplanetary, that yeah. the UPF tends to get involved. Um, so uh, it's, it's a bit of a grey area because it's, it's a moon base. Yeah. You know? So I dare say the local UPF marshal or at least one of the deputies would be, would be there, um, but more in an observer capacity than anything else. Jurisdiction would still, still rely with uh, RIC security, which is the National Police Force. Right. Um, what was the what was our last communications with the police, or um, out? from memory? And correct me if I'm wrong, but from memory, it was something along the lines of um, a deadly missile inbound. We'll try and get rid of it and things like that. Or there's been a more recent one, uh, which is successfully destroyed missile um, and uh, have have Lagrange in custody. Um, but what you do know is there are several shuttles heading outbound towards the moon, um, which you suspect have Rick personnel on board. In fact, you're pretty sure it's got Rick personnel on board. Um, and you you have identified yourself to those guys, so those guys don't fire on you as escaping prisoners. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So let's head to the main port. Yep. Okay. Good. All right. So. Um, Several hours later, it's about a six-hour flight, remember, or, or something like that. Um, so you get, um, you eventually land at the you get clearance, um, land at the main, uh, the main shuttle port, and yes, um, waiting for you is um, um, I've forgotten his name. What's his name? Your main contact. I can't remember his name. Um, he has a weird the, name. He has a weird name. Steve. Yes, Steve. Um, and um, he has a bunch of. Uh, uh, deputies. There are also a bunch of uniformed, military uniformed um, um, individuals in and around the spaceport. Um, that's not that surprising because you knew the reserves had been called up. Um, and um, yeah, 
Uh, there's also there is also a, a somebody you know somebody standing there in a um a a, uh, a a star ranger space ranger uniform, which is the police, the UPF police. Um, uh, so yeah, it's either the marshal or one of the deputy marshals um, on the planet of the planet. Um, so you're met um, not with any not with any fanfare, but you're met. Um, I'm assuming Lagrange is still unconscious, or is he, or, or have you brought him round? I think he's still unconscious. Yeah, that sounds cert- perfect to me. He's certainly handcuffed, or well, I know, or uh, zip tied. I know that for a fact. Yeah, but he's got um, metal arms, so I'm not. He could break through those potentially. Anyway, um, so uh, Steve, <laughs> Steve, Rick greets you. All right, all right, Colin. Uh, he, he greets you and, uh, he's happy enough without being overjoyed. Um, I mean, the planet, the planet just dodged a major, you know, a major weapons of mass destruction, um, event, courtesy of you guys. Um, but, uh, Lagrange is quickly, uh, taken into custody by some of the Rick personnel and, uh, Rick himself, uh, introduces you to, uh, the human uh, Star Ranger, um, as um, uh, a deputy, Mar- a de- a deputy marshal, uh, John Ford. Don't ask. That's what the name is. <laughs> Real original. Oh, well, sometimes you get unoriginal names. Yeah. Um, and uh, and you're quickly uh, uh, bustled into a. A, a small minivan and driven across the uh, the starport to a uh, to the Rick offices. Quick question: uh, Do where... they take our guns from us? Uh, no, they don't. Well, not your sidearms, but they certainly take the long long arms, oh. the, the long rifles, and the machine gun. Um, in fact, uh, Marshal Ford, Deputy Ford, uh, takes uh, custody of those. Uh, after all, they are they are um, uh, evidence, aren't they? We took up uh, fair and square. Not wrong. No, not against you. Just their evidence. Um, anyway, so um, you uh, you're shown into uh, you're you're led into a, a bit of a conference room, um, uh, provided uh, with coffee, tea, and nibblies, or the equivalent, um, and then begin um, a Debrief. Um, in addition to uh, your Rick friend and Marshal Ford, uh, there's a couple of other Rick personnel. Um, they give the impression of being intelligence weenies, um, which would make sense. Um, so you spend the next several hours going over um, what you did, where you found things, and basically the entire story. I, I am going to assume, and correct me if I'm wrong, I'm going to assume you're going to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yeah, and give all the evidence that I have collected along the way. Excellent, excellent. Um, so the debrief goes well into the, well into the night. Um, um, you are uh, provided with um, uh, some hotel rooms in a hotel not far away. Um, and um, they ask you all, uh, you are free to leave, but please don't, um, and please don't say anything to anyone, um, at, at least for the time being, until we can get things settled down. Um, so, yeah. Um, so unless anyone wants to jump in, um, over the next several days, you're given, uh, you're debriefed further. Um, um, the rights seem to subside um apparently the fear of god or the fear of what whichever deity people um pray to has been put into the general population um there are some die hard uh, humans who refuse to give up the fight but uh the rick security personnel seem to have that pretty well under control um uh, there are various speculations on the news channels, uh, various talking heads about what's going on and what's happening. Most of the reserves have been stood down, not all. Um, 
uh, and um, there's over the, the course of a week or so, there's various reports on raids on various places in and around the city and also outside the city. Um, at one point, um, you are uh, you meet with or debriefed by representatives of the uh, commercial council, um, and um, yeah, they, they seem to be, they seem to want to keep it all hush hush. Um, probably not to start a panic, maybe I don't know. Um, and he was supposed but, to be dead, so and he was it's kind to be dead. of easy to sweep under the rug. <laughs> yeah, in that, well, somewhat in that regard, um, especially with the rest from the riots and things like that. There's plenty of stuff going on in that regard. Um, after after about three weeks or so, um, you are called to give testimony in a um, in a closed court, um, where again, I'm you know, the prosecution and Lagrange's lawyer try and pick you apart. Um, but you both, yeah, you all, you all hold up pretty well in that regard. Um, and then about three or four days after uh, you give testimony, um, you're informed that Lagrange has been um, um, locked up, uh, sent away to prison, but he's actually going in the custody of um, uh, the, the Star Rangers. Um, as opposed to the local constabulary, so they're going to get they're going to put him on a penal planet, um, off world. Um, a couple of days after that, um, you uh, you call you're invited to a, a meeting of the uh, the council, where um, they uh, basically hail hail you as heroes, um, world saving heroes. Uh, and are presented with uh, appropriate medals. Um, uh, one more for the collection, shall we say? <laughs> I think that's the start of the collection. No, yeah, it you... is. No, it's not. Oh, I guess uh, from Volturnus, yes. Yeah. It, it is from for me. Oh, yeah, it's, 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 yeah. Yeah, come on, you, don't forget, you guys are supposed some of you guys are the heroes of Volturnus, remember? Um, so yes, yeah, so that's basically basically what happened. So um, it's it's about six to eight weeks after after the missile is destroyed, before all these formalities uh, and that are over. Um, so you've had you know six to eight weeks in a in a in a nice hotel, uh, <laughs> but I suspect you're getting a bit restless. Um, so what would you guys like to do? Did they give us any money? No. This is an outrage. Bloody mercenaries. Um, well, everyone... we have expenses, you know. <laughs> You're on the planet illegally, remember? The cost in meds alone is going to bankrupt us. Uh, dear. Um... <laughs> the doc <laughs> sitting there going, I will never financially recover from this. <laughs> well, I thought the group was paying for the medication, but anyway, it's up to it. Um with up to um yeah so is there anything you guys uh, would like to do well let's talk from... amongst ourselves i mean we've got a couple of things right we can make friends with uh the news organization by giving them an inside scoop right you we, could which would probably piss off the officials in star law or we could try to work the deputy forward to see if he could help us with something what do you guys, what route do you guys want to go? You want to stay friends with the, well, the, they, the officials or with the news media? They kind of control our leaving this planet. That's how we got ourselves into this mess. So, so maybe we don't want to toy with them too much. Yeah. So yeah, well, I think not, it, well, not unless until you get off planet anyway. I, I, I think we, it's more beneficial for us to have friends among star law and governments. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. Do they give but us I our? I wanted to lay out the options. Do they stamp our passports? Well, when you're ready to leave, they will. They hand you pass. Rick, Rick's giving you Rick. The Rick security guys giving you passports back. By the way. Nice. Uh, I um, better, yeah, I I think maybe talking to the deputy marshal to 
see if he has uh, any he has any leads on other work that a band of uh, shoddy mercenaries could could uh, take care of. Uh, Come on, you <laughs> you are the hero. You're the heroes of two worlds and the killers of a third. But let's not talk about that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, but no, seriously, you're, you're the heroes of two worlds. I mean, I mean, as far as Star Law would keep a dossier on anyone, um, that type of information would be in it. Um, and you are famous. Well, you you, you are famous throughout uh, throughout the frontier as the heroes of Alternus, and there are some rumours flowing around uh, Qatar here. Um, about a group of off-worlders who saved the world from a catastrophe. But there's, there's little, very little more than that. But just on that note, one day, um, there's a knock at the door of your hotel. Who is it? Uh, it's um, uh, um, Jane, Jane Smythe. I don't know who that is. Um, I'm a reporter for uh, the local uh, newspaper. Do you mind if I ask you some questions? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> if it's exclusive, we expect to be paid. God, you guys are mercenaries. <laughs> we got expenses. We got expenses. We want brand new shiny stuff. Um, sorry, house cleaning. Nobody's home. Oh, come on! Give a working girl a break. I know you're involved. I know you're involved with what happened a few weeks ago with the call up. I just want to get some background information, please. Come on. Who do you work for? The she already, she already said the local the local newspaper. I can't remember what it's called. So the local newspaper or news source, um, whatever the news source was. I can't remember what it's called. Yeah, I remember. Um... Yeah, yeah. Then does uh, does Babu have the? Uh... Necessary skills to not get uh, bamboozled by a journalist and blurt out the truth. Actually, Babu's uh, skills in that area aren't very good, are they? Um, no, they're like one rank. <laughs> hmm. Well, still, I think it's probably Babu doing the talking. So, <laughs> uh, if if we're going to, then uh, <laughs> it's probably up to whoever's playing Babu. It's definitely not Babu. Cat. So, um, right, guys, what do we have to lose? <laughs> <laughs> so, so Babu will let her in. We'll talk to her. Him in? Is it him or her? It's a her. Oh, her. Jamie yeah. Smythe, not James Smythe. We just miss her. Ah, oh, Jamie. Yeah. 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 So, wh what are your questions? So, she outlines a rather fanciful story about a nuclear missile being launched from um, a secret base on one of the moons and that somehow you guys were involved, you guys found out of it, uh, were involved somehow, probably on the good guy side, and managed to uh, manage to um, um, cause the missile not to uh, not to uh, strike the planet. So now, have have the officials or Star Law given us any hints as to what they want the story to be? Dead. They want the story to be non not told. So um, Babs will say, yeah, that's, that sounds really fanciful. Did you read that in a book? Or are you going to write, write a book? Well, look, we know that there's, a, um, we know that there's something's going on with the, uh, with the sanatorium um, at um, the Salt Flats here, whatever it's called. I can't remember the name of the book. I can't even remember that. God, my, 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 I'm getting old. I'm getting Alzheimer's. My memory's going. I can't remember it either, sir. No, no, no that, that's, that's even worse because you're you're younger than I am, dude. <laughs> um, we know that there's a pro there's been a problem there, and it's been shut down. We uh, we know I know that you were you were in the area 
around about the time it got shut down. Right? I also know that you disappeared for several days. I suspect off the planet. So come on. Off planet? How would we? There's no way to get off planet. We're, none of us are pilots. None of us know how to, how to fly. So that doesn't even fly. Yeah, um, but they, so my, my friend Cerise tried to get into the sanatorium, but couldn't didn't have enough influence to get a friend to get an appointment. So, yeah, we've we've never been near the sanatorium. Really? Okay. If you say so. We went off for the funeral, but that was that was that was weird. Uh-huh. By the time we got there, the funeral had already happened, so we went camping. You went camping. I see. What else are you going to do on a planet like this? Got to go sightseeing. Yeah, camping. Right. Okay. So you're 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 claiming you have no knowledge at all about the kerfuffle from uh, the kerfuffle two months ago. No comment. No, don't. Uh, we've heard stories like you have. Probably not even half the stories that you've heard. And uh, and so there's no truth to the uh, no truth to the rumours that you have met several times with the commercial council in the last couple of weeks. Ask them. I did. That's why I'm asking you. And what did they say? Mm, they neither confirm nor deny it, which basically means they confirm it. No, because they don't not. confirm it or deny it. What would we be doing with the commercial council? We're off. Very, very interesting question. So very if, we, interesting if question. we were meeting with the commercial council, it would be about international commerce. Uh-huh. And so there's no rumors that you, uh, that you landed at the uh, spaceport uh, with a, an individual look, who looks suspiciously like Lagrange, who's supposedly dead. I don't know about it, anything like that. I have no reason, no understanding why there'd be a rumor like that. Actually, it's an eyewitness to, tea on it, to be honest with you. Well, the, did they get photos for you so that you can put them in your fiction book? I see. Okay. Oh, well, looks like uh, I've been chasing a wild goose. Thank you for your time. And she stands up to leave. All right. Show her to the door. Mm-hmm. Um, you don't think you don't think you convinced her. <laughs> That's fine. We neither confirmed nor denied. <laughs> and when you and when you refuse to deny, that that's tantamount to confirming in some reporters' uh, estimations. Um, uh, once she leaves, Cerise is going to scan everywhere she's been for any listening devices. Oh, okay. Which skill do you want to use for that? That'd be my technician. Yeah, but which one? Which sub skill? I'm looking. I'm looking. Uh, I thought you had one in mind. Alarms, maybe? find bugs. Yeah, detect alarms. It's gonna alarms. be detect alarms. Probably right. detect security. Bug yeah, detect will sweep with, with local also yeah. sweep. Yeah, detected. All right. Well, both of you give me three rolls, please. You said three. Yeah, please. That's I'm assuming that's not Babu. I'm assuming that's you. Yeah. Pa-pow. Well, we didn't find the third one. If there was a third one. That's two critical files, gentlemen. One each. Um, so no, you don't locate any um, any uh, listening devices, bugs, or anything else like that. Okay. Happened to disconnect the whole of it while we were there, though. Apparently. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you've, yeah, the 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 whole of it no longer works, um, and uh, the lights in the kitchen no longer work, <laughs> or kitchenette no longer work. Maintenance. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. 
Uh, um, listen, I need to award some experience points to you all. So I'm going to give you all. Um, uh, I'm going to give you all um, uh, twelve experience points each uh, to cover um, the adventure up to this point in time. Um, you've got enough downtime um, in the last eight weeks uh, to be able to do some uh, some skill improvement or things like that, depending on what it is. Um, uh, combat skills, I'm going to be a little bit questioning about um, because yeah you, know, you haven't really been able to shoot anything but but uh theoretical skills computers medical stuff things like that um not a problem and of course don't forget you can work on your rate your raging or your comprehension or your other um your other uh, ability scores as in if you wish so 12 points each don't spend baboos on him please um but just note it on his sheet yep, probably in the, note, in the note section um so if you guys want to spend some spend some experience points by all means uh, feel free Right, it's a one for one for ability scores, right? It is, Thank and you. each each ability each ability score is uh, purchased separately. Uh, for a technic technician background, uh, is for somebody with the whatever the engineering PSA is. Um, yeah, it's technical. Yeah. Yeah. What is computer six? Is it twenty four? Uh, I believe so. Um, it's four points per level. Six. Yeah, so it'd be twenty four. Have you got enough? No. I need I'm, one I, more. I'm eight short. Oh, well. Oh, well. Next adventure, maybe. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, I don't know if you want to spend it all, spend any of it or not. But, listen, I'll let you work that out. Um, um, and just as a reminder, for military skill, it's three points, four points for a tech skill, five points for a psychosocial or medical skill, if you have the PSA. Um other than that, it's du it's double um, if you don't have the PSA. That's per level. So three for level one, six for level two, nine for level three, 12 for level, and so on. That's the formula that, that works out. Does that make sense to everybody? Yep. Yep. Yeah. All right. Um, I just got to oh, – my bladder's just kicked in again. So just give me five minutes. While I'll yep. give, so go for coffee, do what you need to do, and I'll see you all back in five minutes' time. So, Rye, I thought I ordered 10 terabyte drives. I, they, I had to go back and check the order. They actually did 12. So that's good. Oh. Hopefully they were the deal that I thought they were. Hopefully. So I'm finally building a NAS for home. Actually, one for me and one for my brother. Whoops, I don't mean to be rolling that. Don't know why it's rolling that. Uh, probably your hot key bar. Yeah. Since I'm not hitting my F keys. I think I'm going to put all my points into decks. Yeah, I need one more for Technician 6, so I will save that. So you guys, we want to just um, see if we can get in with Star Law, maybe do something that route? Yeah, it seems like the, yeah. the way to go.
So I'm back. Them anyone else? I'm here. Here. Cool. Yeah, I'm here. Yep. So that's, yep. We're all back. Excellent. You know, haven't joined us. No, he hasn't. Okay. Um. So yeah. So did you guys spend your experience points, or did you start? Did you save them? I know, I'm pretty sure you saved your spend, didn't you? Yeah, I'm saving mine. That's right. Yeah, I saved mine. I put cool. all mine into debts. Okay. Does that make me move faster too? Nope. No. Don't believe so. Makes you react quicker. Or actually, it doesn't. It doesn't make you react quicker. That's that's reaction speed. Yeah. But it will possibly have a, have an effect on your combat skills. Yeah, I know. It already gives me plus sets to hit. Mm-hmm. Effectively. Um, okay, you've already adjusted those, have you? Good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think I got my skills right. Yeah, half your dexterity, half your dexterity, or is your ranged, and half your dex or half your strength is the uh, is your uh, melee, and your dex is high, so that's one that's one you'd use. Um, you only got you only got uh, projectile weapons one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And your melee weapons too. I don't have any melee weapons, but melee weapons have the bonus to hit. Oh yeah, I'm just seeing. I'm just seeing why your force axe is is twenty up because there's force axe is a plus twenty, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I think your machine gun's a bit high, isn't it? Uh, that's because I include the burst since it has to burst. Uh, yeah. Did you take the minus ten? Did you take the minus ten off for being a heavy weapon? Well, I get 10 for projectile, so it's 40 plus 10 for projectiles. Less, less 10 makes 40. 20. Your burst. Yeah. Yep, okay, all good. No, no, I'm just making, you, you said you weren't sure, so I'm just going through the maths with you. Okay. No, I all wasn't good. sure about my technician skills, since some of them are half debts and some of them are quarter debts and a quarter logic. Yeah. So, um, and you round off from memory. Yeah. But I uh, yeah. think I did those right, considering. Yeah. Because either it was going to increase by like three, or was going to increase by six. So... Yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's, that that works out well. Okay, all good. Um. So basically, you guys are effectively um, after the eight weeks or so, seven eight weeks or so, are basically free to do um, what you like, really. Um, I mean, um, Keratars at the end of, uh, you know, a fair way out from the center of the, um, the frontier, um, frontier sector. So it may be worth your while heading back in towards, um, Cassidine or, or Panga or, um, 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 I can't even name the, I can't even think of the name of the star now. Uh, Heading back in towards the center. What about um, the star marsh, the star law deputy? Ah, uh, um, yeah. He, well, he's local, so you know, um, not much he can recommend. Uh, apart from heading back into the heading back in towards the uh, the center of the uh, of the uh, of the frontier. Um, so it's up to you guys, really, what you want to do in that regard. Does he have any? People that he knows we could go see? No. No. No, he's only, he's only a deputy marshal. I mean, you know, I mean, it's still pretty senior, but still, it's, you know, when you're talking the entire frontier, no, he doesn't have any, any you know, uh, he said you'd always, you'd always check the, the, um, the bounty hunter lists, you know, <laughs> for example. You know, go after a fugitive. You'll need to be a licensed bounty hunter, of course, he says. What's that take? Uh, paying a paying a uh, paying a fee, and you can't do it here. I don't have the, we don't have the facilities here. And you can't do it here. Nope. Where do we have to go to do that? 
Star Law Heat Star Law HQ would be your best bet. Which is on the Capital World, right? Yeah, that's right. Well, I that's think right. probably should go there. Well, that's where um, that's where you've got uh, your storage sheds. For those yeah. of you who have got the storage sheds. So yeah, is that is that what you're doing? You, you, you're grabbing a, you're grabbing the next uh, the next uh, flight back. Oh yeah, question. All the yeah. stuff that was when they um they went to the sanatorium. Mm -hmm. They probably found our abandoned explorer, right? Well, it wasn't abandoned, but yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. We left stuff in it. Do we get? Can we get that stuff back from them? Is it your stuff, or is it stuff you uh, you acquired uh, from others? Well, I believe I left. Where did I put it? Uh, a compass, yeah, an Everflame, a Forsass, gas mask. This was all stuff I had before. Yeah, the stuff you had before is fine. Anything you anything you acquired along the way basically is is being seized as evidence, is where I was okay. going. Okay. So yes, um, and they even they even weigh the they even weigh the, the rental fee for your explorer, um, courtesy and, of uh, Rick Security, and the security <laughs> deposit fee, that we definitely don't the... get back. <laughs> Sorry, what was that, Ben? A rental fee. We, it was trashed. We were going to have to buy it, mm. um. <laughs> and that's why you don't get and that's why you don't get your deposit back. Right. Oh well, that's what happens when you wreck a when you wreck a, wreck a rental car. Yeah, you know, there's a there's a reason there's a saying drive it like you drive it like you rent it. Uh, you shot the RPGs at us. You put you put yourself in danger. It's not my problem. I'm just a referee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I I heard something the other day. What's the fastest car in the world? A rental. Nice. <laughs> I thought that was good when I heard that. All right, so uh, unless you unless you guys want to stop me, basically you you uh, a couple of days later um, you're uh, seen off world by uh, representatives of the council and um, uh, Rick from Rick Security and Marshall Ford and um, uh, grateful thanks to the planet. Um, you know, come back any time. Um, to you know, go through proper channels, um, uh, and uh, and you know, the thanks of a grateful world. Um, by the way, the reporter uh tried to uh collar you a couple of times, but you managed to avoid her. Um, she does put out a speculative piece, um, doesn't name you by name, but gives an awfully good description uh, of the physical character of your physical characteristics. Um, so the rumors are flying fast and furious. Um, um, but, uh, the officials are denying everything as per, uh, normal for officials. Yeah. Yeah, that mm -hmm. sounds fine. All right. So, um, several weeks later, you end up back, um, in the, um, in the capital on the, on the, well, capital's not the probably say, say the central world. Um, you uh, book yourselves into a nice hotel. Um, and is there any uh, shopping uh, that you guys want to do? Um, I am buying an exoskeleton. Are you? Do you have the money? Yeah, it's 2,000 credits from what I remember. Uh, it's plus 40 to your strength. And you run and you jump faster. Well, That's you right. run faster and you jump higher. Yeah. How is it powered? I don't know. Uh, type one power back. Type one power battery. I think from memory. Oh wow. Yeah, there's definitely stuff I want to buy. Um, an exoskeleton. I've oh. got to price out a robot. You know, price out a robot. Okay, hang on. Let me pull up the. Let me pull up the rule book. Is the web page up? No. No, the web server is in a state of flux at the moment. Um, 
Is that, I, don't, I don't think it is. You can try it, but I don't think it is. Ah, uh, where are we? Off of dawn. Here we go. How much and is also, it? I don't remember how much the um, computer costs. Or Depends the, on the, the software. Oh, that that computer, the the, the one that Cat and, and Voc have. Yeah, unfortunately, that is, that is only on the website. That's uh, pretty expensive. I remember that costing a fair bit. Yeah, I bet again it also you 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 buy this you buy the CPU you buy the power pack and you buy the software components the software uh, cartridges that go with it. So those are the two things that I want to buy, but I got to figure out what they cost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, how much money do you have? Seventeen thousand. Yeah, you should have you should have enough for a lot of it. I'll I won't do it now because I don't want to slow things up. But we'll um, we'll uh, we can do that. I'll, I can send you the information later if you want. Okay. Um, if you want to restock your med kit doc. Yeah, I think that's a good idea, don't you guys? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, for that matter, if you guys want to restock your kits. Tech kits, robo kits, Enviro kits, and med kits, which all need to basically do doing, it's 250 a kit. Okay, that'll restock it completely back to starting. Okay. Um, uh, uh, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Where is the. Oh, there they are. Um, exoskeleton. It's two green for an exoskeleton, weighs five. And it must be plugged into a power backpack. A power pack of some sort to operate. It uses uh, one SEU a minute. Oh, one SEU a minute, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm. So a backpack will give you 100 minutes. A belt pack will give you 50 minutes. So, um, and they're the two power packs. You can't plug it into a, uh, to a, a clip. It needs to be plugged into a power pack or a belt pack or a, or a backpack. Wow, I, can, I didn't really see that getting left on a battlefield and someone getting really sad. Yeah, I'm going to wait and see what our next job is. Because I don't have yeah. that much money, and if I spend it all on this. Yeah. Um, other things, uh, just because I've got the book up in front of me, other things you may be interested in, I'm just going to pick some stuff out at random. Oh, robot. Did you were looking at buying a robot, were you? Um, yeah. Okay. Um, basically, you choose a body type, you choose a level, you choose um, extra limbs if you want. You choose altered movement if you want, and you choose any special programs you want. Um, a standard robot's two grand. Uh, level one's two hundred. Level six is eight thousand. Um, and then I can give you other prices as we go through. Um, okay. And I can look. I'll look that up. I've got the books. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's on page. It's on page forty-one. Okay. Okay. The other thing, depending upon our next job, we might want to buy an Explorer or, or hover bikes or something. I don't. It just depends on our next job, I think. Yeah, probably something that. Uh, probably, I mean, I mean, yeah, it really, it really does depend. I mean, if you get a job like you did with Max on Star Mist, but you know, a lot of people will that type of equipment is generally provided if if you're working for somebody else. If you're going freelance, that's a whole other issue, you know. Right. Yeah. So let's let's um you guys want By the to way, see about registering as bounty hunters and seeing yeah. that before you go further um there are by the way there are also on page 41 of the rule book there's um standard robot costs uh maintenance heavy duty combat security uh, services cybernetic warbots and robot brains um in various levels from one through to six um so what type of robot were you thinking about well probably like personal security so, so security probably bot. only have uh, a security, defensive a sec program so I can yes. take it everywhere. So a security robot. Well, security robots start at level two and go to level six. Uh, a level two bot's three and a half. A level three is four. A level four is five. A level five, seven grand. And a level six is 11 grand. Yeah, probably not above four. Uh, that, that'd be a level three if you're going to buy one of those at all. Um, you'll have to give it a mission. You'll have to give it a mission and a... Uh, and functions as per normal, right? Um, and uh, they don't. And, and, and you have to arm it if you're gonna if you're gonna give it arms, as in sorry, as in weapons. Um, 
but uh, security bots come with self and def come with self defence. I don't know what other software it comes with. I'll have to look that. I'll have to, I'll have to look that up in the book. Um, in the robot section of the book. Um, it was GTF that we worked with initially, right? It was. Um, you could you could recontact them and find out if something's if there's something available. Um, they so you guys want to. You guys want to go the bounty hunter route? You want to go the GTF route? Go both? Uh, what was the fee on the bounty hunter registration? A uh, couple of thousand bucks a pop. And is that like a permanent thing or is it a yearly thing? No, it's or... a yearly license fee. No, thanks. Okay, security bots. Here it is. Um... They standard bodies and the restrain program. Yeah. So they've got security bodies in this and the, the restrain program. If you want um, extra software, you're going to have to buy it as extra software um, for the bot. Okay. So okay. Uh, now, I should say other things you may be interested in because I just had it a minute ago. Um, no, where is it? Um, uh, Anti shock implant. Um, um, Oh, uh, if you don't have an anti-shock implant, it's a great thing to get. Yeah, it's too grand a shot, though. Um, uh, oh, you, everyone! Everyone needs to spend. Um, um, again, you know, I was talking about re restocking your packs and your med kits and things like that. Um, your standard equipment pack that'll be seventy-five to restock it back up to its regular level as well. Um, you might want to buy a subspace radio if you've got twenty grand. Um, Yeah, uh, what else we got out there? Um, general survival equipment, um, computers, depending on what, to uh, sorry, uh, my, um, desktop computers, depending on what software you want. If you want a, a personal computer, I'm going to have to look that up for you. I'm sorry, guys, I don't have it handy. Okay. Oh, by the way, the security bot does not include its, its power battery. You've got to buy that separately. Right. Uh, and I only need a Type 1. The Type one's only worth 600 credits, but it still needs to be purchased. And the power, bat the power battery cannot, ch cannot power weapons. It'll only power the bot. So if you're going to give the bot a laser pistol, for example, it'll need clips or belts or backpack or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Just thought I'd throw that into the mix. Um, so, yeah. And I'm working as hard as I can to get the website back up and running for everybody, okay? I'm just running into a little bit of delay at the moment with some stuff. Um, so, yeah, so that's all that. Um, that's not what I want. That's definitely not what I want. That's what I want. Um, so, are you going to contact the GTF or weren't you going yeah, to bother? Yeah, let's reach or? out to the GTF. All right. So, you reach out to the GTF. Um, they acknowledge acknowledge you're back in town um, um, and look back looking for work. And um, it's only about a day, day and a half after that uh, when you get a call from the GTF. Um, on your conochroms, uh, asking if you uh, would be willing to take a meeting with the CDC. Hey, that's not that's like not them. Center for, that's not the Centre for Disease Control. That's the Cassidyne Development Corporation. <laughs> yeah, sure. We like well. Um, in that case, uh, if you could, uh, if you could. Um, um, uh, attend a meeting at um, a certain address which they give you um, at um, about uh, two in the afternoon in two days time um, that would be excellent so um, do you want to do anything between now and the two days time I assume you are going to attend yeah we'll attend uh, I don't have anything to do all right. Um, yeah, only if we want to 
scare up some other ideas. Hmm. Um, I need everybody to knock off a thousand credits for food and entertainment and accommodation and that for the last week or so you've been on, on, on planet. Done. Living expenses, gotta love them. Uh, can you make a note of that for Babu and for Jazz, yeah. please? Those, thank you. Yeah, I've done it on Jazz. Yeah, no, it's just making sure because it's easy to forget when you've got two characters. That's all. Um, yeah. Um, so in two days' time or whenever, um, you uh, uh, attend this building. Um, it is um, um, the building is not it has no indication it is, it is the CDC. Um, it's just an office. It, it's just one of the downtown uh, multi-story office buildings. Um, I'm assuming you you go to the front desk and get directed to um, uh, floor 12. Uh, and go up to floor 12. And when the lift's open, um, there is a... Uh, it's one of these... Um, um, renter rent an office type places mm -hmm. you know um where there's a the, the, you know the the company a, a company runs the receptionist and runs the rooms and other individuals and companies hire rooms and offices for hours to months you know depending on what they what their needs are um can i help you ladies and gentlemen says the receptionist Uh, yes, we are here to to see our insert contacts name here. Um, ah, yeah, that's right. Thank you. Um, ah, certainly. Uh, down the hall, um, room twelve. Uh, room twelve. Yeah, room twelve. If you double check that, just to make sure. Okay, we'll head down there. Right. Uh, room twelve happens to be a a conference room. There is a kitchenette alcove off to one side where there are tea and coffee making facilities plus. Um, a fridge with milk and cold, uh, cold water and, and and things like that. Um, there's also also a a rather large glass biscuit barrel with an assortment of cream and plain biscuits in it. Um, the conference table is typical. Um, it seats it, it seats about sixteen people um, or so. Um, well, there's sixteen chairs around it anyway. Uh, the chairs are rather they're not super lush, but they're they're, they're nice comfortable chairs. There's a, um, um, a a hollow projector in the middle of the table, um, small one. Uh, it's not turned on, um, and uh, and other than that, there's a view out over the city uh, through the windows on one side. Uh, what would you guys like to do? Have Cat a seat. will eat a biscuit, and then take a seat. Hey, uh, James. Uh, sorry, oh, Thomas. How are you, mate? Um, Thomas, do you have the? Uh, no, we are, but it's, we're not using that Teamspeak server. I'm about to tell you, um, there's, we had a lot of problems with the with the FG Teamspeak server, so we've actually got our own. Um, would you drop into Ben? Would you drop into the? Um, um, oh, by the way, before you do it, um, Thomas, it's the same password, right? So don't put the password in Ben, but could you put the URL in to um, the chat box of uh, FG? There we go. Thank you. So that's the new URL, um, and we're waiting. For, we'll wait for you over there. Uh, and meanwhile, I'll free up your character. So uh, there we go. <sighs> Done. It's uh, not quite the same password. The first isn't it? Le the first letter isn't a capital. Yeah. Okay. The first letter's not a capital. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I thought I thought Ben had, had informed everybody, um, but it would have been the the Deadlands group, not this group. And you weren't here for this. Group. You weren't here last week, were you? No, we the we, the first game we, was um, this Star, this Star Frontier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you wouldn't have told you wouldn't have told you, uh, uh, Thomas because Thomas wouldn't have known. Thomas wasn't here to know, but that's okay. It's all good. 
Uh, same as the old one, but it's a lowercase first letter, not uppercase. And we're recording it, so I don't want to put it down somewhere, and I don't want to say it. <laughs> like an help it. Oh, it, well, once Jazz takes a character, you, I could somebody could private message him outside of the stream. Yeah. Yeah, grab, pick up yeah, pick up Big Boon. That's right. Pick up, grab your character in, in FG. It's clear. You should be able to grab it now. And then I'll whisper it to you. Or Ben can whisper it to you. All right, when you're ready, yeah, when you're ready, um, Ben. I hope that didn't come up on anyone else's screen. Come up on mine, but I'm not. That's why I don't, I don't recall my record. Well. Your channel. There we go. Hey, how are you, Thomas? Good, good. Hey, how you doing, fellas? Good. Uh, apologies for the short notice. No, that's cool, mate. It happens. It happens. Um, the group is just walked into a conference, uh, to a rented, a rented, a rented conference room, um, where uh, tea, coffee, and biscuits are available, as well as uh, milk and water. Um, waiting for um, a contact from the Cassidyne Development Co Corporation to arrive about a new job. Now, in the meantime. Um, you were awarded experience points. It should have been put on your sheet, probably under the notes section or wherever. Um, you can spend those if you wish, because you would have had a chance, um, or Jazz would have had a chance. You weren't here to do it. Um, and also, if there's any shopping you want to do, um, feel free to pick it up. Unfortunately, the website's still down. I'm having <laughs> issues. I'm, I, I've got to get it sorted. I've, I've, there's a lot of stuff going on, and getting this kidney um, and being out of out of the loop for for two months sort of put a bit of a, a, a crimp on things. I'm still getting I'm still getting things sorted out. Okay. Totally understandable. Mm. Yeah, well, I mean, if I have a choice between, you know, making sure the website's working for you guys or getting a new kidney, I know which one I would prefer. I'm waiting for folks to make some uh, cheeky comment there. Yeah, so was I. Uh, sorry, oh, I, I was trying to... I know it's not a official official, but I was looking on the Star Frontiers wiki at the machine gun to see if I wanted to buy it. <sighs> you Since and I know gun. I know we use slightly diff the rule set we use is slightly different, but just to see the it's uh, yeah, but the prices will be the same. Or oh, should okay. be the same. Very close to the same anyway. So yeah. Um, so yeah, so you guys, what are you guys doing? You're going you know, to sit down or, or stand around or do I'm cartwheels? Sit. I don't know. Get yourself tea and coffee? I don't know. Yeah, have yeah, a seat. And then Jazz will comment that, eh, I don't want biscuits, I want cookies. I'm afraid this is an Australian game. We have Australian terms. <laughs> Which is why all the spellings in Australian, like it should be properly, as opposed to the abortion that the Webster's Dictionary enforces on people. Yes, I'm having a go at the Americans. Uh, let's see. <laughs> no, we're, we don't outnumber. Do we outnumber? Well, we considering, <laughs> considering, considering the GM, considering the GM has the veto, no, you don't. <laughs> All right, not long um, after you've arrived. Sorry, go on. No, I was just going to say, are we on a map for the conference room, or is it just uh... no, 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 no. Okay, no maps, no, no, no. Um, so um, not long after, you know, five, five or so minutes after you uh, after you arrive, grab your refreshments and settle down. A um, Yazirian uh, in a rather nice suit walks in and goes, ah, excellent. Budget crew, I'm assuming. The one and only. Yes. Ah. Heroes of Alternus. Heroes of Karatala, I understand as well, if the rumours are, are to be correct. 
we um, may every have... time you hear the words hero attached to us that yeah, that would be correct yeah not locking not lucky not lacking in self-confidence either excellent we'll have least of that we have a mission we have a, a, a job for you it's um an espionage uh, role uh, it involves uh, one of our uh, competitors um they're involved with a project that um, we're interested in. Um, we don't know what the project's actually doing, which is why we're interested in it. Um, but the mission basically involves you traveling to a, uh, a remote research facility, um, using your natural charm, personality, and guile to gather as much information surreptitiously as you can and bringing that information uh, back to us. Is this something you uh, you can handle, do you think? Uh, sure. We need more information. Yes, well, I need a yes or no before I can give you any more information. Is, um, is this, uh, maybe it's implied, but is this espionage mission legal? Um, yes. Technically, as long um, as we don't go shooting them, I take it. Yeah, um, yes. Discretion is discretion um, on your part would be um, available. Um, uh, you're, I'm not asking you to break and enter. Um, I'm not asking you to uh, uh, torture anyone. I'm certainly not asking you to to uh, physically harm anybody. Um, if those events were to hypothet hypothetically occur in carrying out your mission, then that would be uh, entirely upon yourselves. But uh, individuals of your uh, calibre should be able to complete things uh, and show whatever initiative is required without being uh, told explicitly. In other words, he's going for plausible deniability. Yep. I don't know, guys. Do we want to? Stealth isn't generally our thing. We might need to buy hollow screens and possibly, yes. You might need to. Buy, you might that that type of equipment uh, would certainly be of use. Um, I doubt you will need any heavy weapons. Of course, of course, sidearms uh, would would be appropriate. They always are in the frontier. Uh, and, and with that, he pulls his jacket back slightly and you can see the butt of what appears to be a slug-throwing handgun in a shoulder, ho in a shoulder holster. Um, so, um, so yes. Uh, so, um, we will, of course, uh, pay you uh, regular rates um, and uh, a bonus... Uh, when or if and when uh, you bring back the information we require, um, and obviously there will be a full a full debrief uh, when you do return uh, return home. Um, at all times, the CDC must be kept out of it. Um, we do not want um, our name uh, associated with this mission in any form whatsoever. Um, uh, mentioning the CDC will automatically forfeit you um, not only the bonus, but 20% uh, of your of the agreed upon uh, a rate. Uh, discretion is the better part of valor in this we'll, case. We'll wear our Steel Corporation uniforms instead. Then got it. <laughs> um, right. right. Um... So these um, <laughs> CDC branded skin suits, we should not be wearing these. I assume. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> Probably not. Not together. No. Uh, yeah. You know, um, wearing wearing a different company's uh, military or civilian skin suits. Um, you know, certainly, yeah, maybe worthwhile. <laughs> so, uh, is all this agreeable? Yes. Sure. Excellent. Uh, how long? Uh... Are you estimating the time period for this being? Well, let's get down to brass tacks, shall we? Um, I'll give you the, I don't have these, I give you the, 
I'll give you these. Interesting. Um, are you running the latest version? No, oh, you're not. Up, you're not verbal, are you? You're, you're not here. Yeah, User in your channel timed out. Um, I'll give you the full. I'll give you the full. Um, the full details. I'll email the full details of this stuff out in writing to you over the over the course of the next month. Okay. Okay. Um, but he, but uh, he reaches over, the Yazirian reaches over and uh, activates the hollow screen, uh, loads in a, a chip and a star system um, appears on the... Um, User joined your channel. Mm. Yeah, don't know what happened then, Thomas. Yeah. Um, so it activates the hollow screen and a star system appears above the table. Uh, this is the Venturi system, he says. Um, um, sorry, I'll start again. This is the uh, Balan 4 system. Uh, Balan 4 is a remote um, a remote system, uh, not too close to anywhere really. Um, the uh, infant, the uh, planet of interest is Venturi. Uh, Venturi is a um, a gas giant, um, has in excess of twenty moons and a diameter of about 130,000 kilometers. Um, it has no, basically it's, it's, it's a star that never became a star. Um, in our terms, it's about three times the size of Jupiter. Um, and Jupiter is about one-tenth the size viable to become a star, give or take. Okay, so... Um, um, we know very little about uh, the Balan 4 system, um, though uh, we, ca we do know that um, uh, Venturi itself has a rather uh, fast rotation rate, um, and also that there is a um, moon, one of the moons, uh, which has been named Snowball, um, appears to have been recently captured because, as you can see, its orbital um, radius is more like a comet than a than a moon. Um, it's got a roughly a 34, 35 day um, uh, orbit orbital period. Um, it gets as close to Venturi as about one hundred ninety seven thousand kilometers. Um, it's got a thirty eight day rotation. That's it, orbit rotation. Um, and it's got, uh, it, it, at the farthest point, it's just short of 5 million kilometres distance. Um, there are a number of other planets and asteroids in the, uh, in the Balan 4 system. Um, but the reason we're focusing on Venturi is that, pardon me, is that the, uh, hang on, I've lost it. Where have I done with it? God, I hate that when it happens. Oh, the Bichem Corporation has a couple of registered research ships in uh, one that appears to be in orbit around Snowball. The other one appears to be in orbit around or actually in the atmosphere of Venturi. Um, but they've gone to great lengths to keep things quiet. Even for a research uh, organization uh, even for a research project we think there's something else going on we will send you to Venturi on a on one of our uh, freighter slash passenger ships um, ships do occasionally stop in the Bell and Four system um, normally on the way to elsewhere, um, but it's pretty remote, so it doesn't happen very often. Uh, your cover story will be uh, whatever you like, as long as you don't, as long as you don't mention us. Um, but uh, what we'll do, uh, we'll we'll get the captain of the uh, of the transport uh, ship to uh, claim um, uh, an engine malfunction on 
entry to the uh, Bellin 4 system. Um, and then we'll obviously request to dock with the base on Snowball, which we know is there, uh, and uh, then carry out repairs. This will give you several days to find out what's going on. And then obviously the, uh, the ship will uh, return, uh, return you to here for a debrief. So we're expecting travel time, uh, mission time, probably 30 to 40 days total. So where is the, the ship headed to so that we can put together a good story? Ah, well, uh, good question. Um, basically, be headed to anywhere uh, nearby. Hang on a sec. Travel time calculator. No, it's not what I'm after. Star chords, that's what I'm after. So, Bellin 4 itself is. Do you want the star coordinates? You're not talking, Dad. No, oh, I don't have a map to look at, so the coordinates. No, I know. So I, I said I'll, I'll give it to you when I give it to you when I get it set up and give it to you. Okay. Um, I'd have to look it up, mate. And I've got to pull the website up for that one. Um, but suffice it to say, there will be a there will be a planet not there will be a system not too far away that you can claim to be on the way to. If and when, okay. Yeah, I say we come up with a story that that planet, that somebody there has hired us to do some training. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a good cover story. This is Jam the Player. It's a good cover story, something like that. Um, anything else you'd like to... Uh, you'd like to... Uh, uh, pay, 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 pay. No, I haven't got it there. You'd like to cover off? If any other um, questions, in other words, sorry. I would make sure that everybody should buy a holo screen and a non-lethal weapon of choice. Yeah, I think. Yeah, well, you, you can discuss that after the after the meeting. Any other questions for yeah. the? Any other questions um, for the for the CDC rep? Yeah. So this this planet. Well, actually, maybe this is done afterwards also. But if we're thinking about it, a cover where we're hired to go there to provide some kind of training. What's um what goes on in that planet? Is there like what? Uh, uh, well, it, well, uh, that depends on which planet, which planet we, we, we which planet is closest. And I can't tell you that until I get there. But we'll we assume you cover. We'll we'll assume that the the cover story will cover that off, shall we? Okay, cool. Yeah, so probably if, the easiest way of doing it. So we're gonna have to land a shuttle on the planet's surface, and they're gonna detect that, right? Mm, Isn't that kind no. of no? No, you're, you're not, not on the station. It, it's a one. It's a gas giant. It doesn't have a. It oh, doesn't have right. a planet. It doesn't have a surface. That's the first thing. Uh, and second thing, no. The, the 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 ship you'll be traveling on will dock at the at the snowball the snowball station. Okay. Um, okay, guys. Uh, sorry, just a little bit of house, a little bit of um, meta gaming housekeeping. Um, I need your highest skill and how many other skills you have. Oh, I don't need their levels. Boy. I just need their thing. So. Um, Cat, I think your highest is computer, yeah? Yeah, it's five. Computer five. Do you have any other skills? Uh, yeah, I got um, melee, projectile, physics, and I think and engineering. So you got four other skills. I believe so. Let me just yeah, I'll check for you. Yeah, yeah. So can everybody do that, please? Work out your highest skill and how many ex extras you've got. Mid four for the dock. Any 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 other skills, doc? Yeah, I've got uh, chemistry one. And you got chemistry one. Okay. So what do we got here? We've got. Let's close that down. We don't need that. So jazz, 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 jazz. Uh, let me let me retype because I got counted up. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so Cerise has got tick. Two and another, th sorry, tick five and another three. Uh, 
Uh, Doc's got folks got engineering four and another two. Jazz has got five, another ten skills. Well, that's they, why boy? he gets paid the most out of all of us. No, not so, necessarily. Um, military. So, oh, yeah. being five, and there's like, yeah. and then level one of thrown weapons, melee weapons, demolitions, medical, camouflage, martial arts, projectile weapons, Jaja weapons, bombing, and operate powered armor. Uh, bombing, uh, bombing, uh, oh yeah. Okay. It's <laughs> operating so the aerial yeah, 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 yeah. vehicle. Yeah. yeah, yeah, vehicle bombing. Yes, I meant you. Um, cats five, one, two, three, four. Yeah, got you. Uh, can someone uh, who has got Babu, could you do Babu for me, please? Yeah, I'm working on it. That's all right. So, just to confirm, Cerise has got Tech five and three others. Doc's got Medic four and another one. Cat's got Computer five and four others. Babu's got, sorry, Jazz has got Beam Weapon fives, uh, Beam Weapon five, that's what's throwing me up. Beam Weapon five and ten others. And Vokes got Engineering four and two others, yes? Yeah. Okay, and whatever Babu's got. Because I'm assuming you want to get paid. So it looks Psy Social is three, is three. his highest. Yeah, three. One, two, three, four. Six others. Five, six. Okay, Social, three. And what did I say? Three others. Four others. Five others. No, he's got six others. Six others. I can't, I can't count. So, right. Okay. So let me just do these quick calculations. Okay. So according to this, Ah, uh, where's the pay sheet? Here it is. Uh, I'll put it down as PS and make it easier for myself. Um, uh, so Babu's going to pick up 160 credits a day. Do we need uh, to take note of this? No, you don't have to. I'm making a note. You can make a note for yourself if you want. I'm, I've got that, but I've got this as well. I'm just letting you guys know. Uh, Cerise. Uh, is picking up 120 credits a day. The doc is picking up 110 credits a day. Uh, cat. Cat, 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 cat. He's picking up 150 credits a day. Jazz. He's picking up 180 credits a day. See, I told you. And Vogue, uh, engineering, it's the same as, um, sorry, burping, um, he's picking up 120 credits a day. So that's, that's what you're assigned, that's what you signed up, that's what you're signing up for when you sign the paperwork, um, starting uh, the day uh, you ship out, which is in two days' time. Okay. Everyone good with that? Sounds good. Yep. Yep. And cat makes it. Do we have a choice? The... <laughs> hey? I said, do, you have a... do we have a choice? No, not really. That's what I thought. Right. Um, so, yes. Um, so, if there's no other questions about the mission? Nope. 
Right, I said, I'll yeah. give you the I'll give you, I'll give you the data handouts when I when I've got them. I just have I just haven't had a chance to do them up today. I was going to do up this morning and I got caught up doing something else. And so I'll get those out to you as soon as I possibly can, which will be in the next couple of days. I might even get out tonight if I'm lucky. Um, so yeah, um, you guys want to go shopping? Yeah, yeah. I uh, a hollow screen with the camouflage loop, which is what we'll need, is two thousand credits. All right. So, you guys, what I would like you to do um, is, as part of the preparation uh, for your leaving in two days' time, is um, work out what you're going to be carrying on your person. In addition to that, what you're going to be carrying with you, but not on your person. In other words, in your luggage and what you're leaving behind or in your in storage. Okay. Now, on your sheets, um, and in the equipment section, in the inventory section, um, obviously there's an area for equipped and not carried and things like that. So, um, anything you're anything you're taking anything you're taking with you, um, um, yeah, mark it as carried. Anything you've anything you've um, anything you're uh, Anything you're sorry, I'm studying. Anything you've got with you, mark it as equipped. Anything you're carrying in your luggage, mark it as carried. And anything that you're not taking, leave the leave the circle blank. So if you just click on the on the circles in your uh, inventory, it'll change. It'll cycle through those three those three settings. Okay. Does that make sense? Yep. Yep. Sweet. And don't forget that'll also um, adjust your total weight carried. Oh, so yeah, don't to... forget a uh, non-lethal. Yeah, your people were after a non-lethal weapon as well at one stage. Um, I have those prices here if, if, if people want want them. Um, so if you need pistols or rifles or whatever you want, rifles might be, I said, I said, there's no reason why you couldn't take a rifle with you. I wouldn't be carrying it. I wouldn't equip, a, you could certainly carry a rifle. I wouldn't equip it. You know what I mean? Um, again, sidearms like pistols, probably okay. Um, a force axe over your shoulder, yeah, probably a little bit, little bit excessive. Um, a vibro knife, or even possibly a vibro sword, for example, or a sonic sword, something like that. Something small and relatively concealable would be wouldn't be too 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 far out, outside the realm of possibility. Um, people want grenade prices. I've got them. Um, uh, you know, brass knuckles, night sticks, pole arms, shock gloves, stun sticks, sword. Yeah, you know, I've got all the prices in here if you want them, including power clips, backpacks, and and all that type of stuff if you want that as well. Don't forget you need ammo for a lot of this stuff if you're taking that. Um, yeah, and I uh, I don't know how many I don't know how many uh, skin suits you want to you want to take with you. Um, this is not supposedly a high combat mission. Um, it's a well, yeah. Every mission has got a chance to be high combat, but this is you're not being hired to destroy things. You're being hired to get in and get out sneakily. So combat should com combat is probably not going to be one of your prime prime directives, if you want a better term. Oh yeah, I'm also taking the IR jammer just in case. Sure. Not a problem. Have you got that up already, or do you need to buy that? All right, got one. Okay. Um, and also, don't uh, I know? Uh, I think it's you, you, um, Cat. You've got Babu as well. No. I've got Babu. Oh, it's you. It's you, Dan. Yeah, don't forget to do Babu either, please. And uh, what he's likely to be taking and not. Okay. 
that would be good. Thank you very much. So, things like Chronicoms, which you should have on you, your basic equipment pack, things like that. Um, and of course, med kits, if you whether you've got those with you or not. Um, Mm. Yeah. Um, the 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 level one computer. That's like twenty kilos. It's like a loggable, isn't it? Uh, the level. Oh, you the desktop version. Yeah, I mean, whatever the the, the level one computer and the level one power power battery is. What yeah. Is that? Well, the, the level one computer is the level one computer is three kilos. The level two is eight. The level three is twenty kilos, so uh, I'd say yeah. I'd say one, two, and three. I, I'd say three's a luggable, two's a two's a, 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 a heavy laptop, really heavy laptop. Yeah, and three three would be a laptop. Yeah, yeah. okay. Um, but it depends on I mean, the level of the the computer, and then you know you got, you got to power it as well. Yeah. Right. So. Um, yeah, you know, a Type One power battery is twenty-five kilos. That's that would be the what would go in your level three, uh, or four, or five, or six. You could probably run a level two or a level one. We well, certainly run them off a power battery, but you could run them off a backpack. I mean, there would be if you want to. What's a backpack? What's a power backpack? Why I can't remember. Um, Ten. Yeah, it's probably what goes in a in a in a level two computer, in a level two computer, and a level three computer. I mean, again, they're desktops. They're not really designed for moving around that's what the the personal um belt the the, the personal belt computers are for they're the ones yeah, that they're yeah, the yeah, tablets yeah. and the luggables and things like that yeah, my, like my that. access computer thingy um, yeah, and you, and yeah. You, yeah that that type of stuff uh i just wonder given that it's an espionage mission whether we should uh we should pack the maxi comp 3 into the into the store into the uh shuttle um uh, like, I mean, how inhabited is this place? What the research base? Yeah, uh, it's only supposed to have a couple of dozen people. The the system itself is effectively uninhabited, uninhabited, um, and the information that the CDC rep had is maybe a dozen to two to two dozen people, and most of those would be scientists or technicians, apparently. Um, I don't think there's any, there's no security staff, there's no guaranteed security staff, but you, you would expect two or three security staff with two dozen people, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah, you, there'd be a captain, a ship's captain, a couple of pilots, an engineer or two, their assistants, probably an astrogator and, and an assistant, and the rest would be researchers or, or technicians or things like that. Yeah. Um, because it is a registered research mission. Yep. It's just stuff has come to light that CDC's, well, CDC reckons stuff's come to light that says, eh, this is a little bit unusual for a research mission. Yeah. Which is why they're sending you guys in as deniable assets. Yeah. Uh, do you have uh, in your book how much the comp site gyro attachments are each no i don't have i don't have any of that handy sorry no ah, balls okay um I, are we happy to say that i'm carrying it and we retcon the price once you figure that out yeah i'm happy yeah. to do that assuming you've got the money and i'm I assuming got, you've like, got, I got the money 27 grand so it'll, yeah, it'll, it'll, it'll fit it. in there, so. i'm assuming you've got the money <laughs> yeah because um, i mean uh, and so because i'm thinking hollow screen with a camo loop a few civilian skin suits, the stun stick, uh, and I, I've got a stash of power clips and needler sleep clips because I uh -huh. think they're, they're going to be um, Cat's primary sort of carry. I think. Yeah. Uh, I, I just I just want to make sure that I've got a um, gyro on my needler pistol because I don't think yeah. I have that. So that'll be yes. good to have. All right. Well, why don't why don't you guys? Um, note down somewhere offline how much money you have and when i and i when i email this stuff out to you guys um because i don't yeah I'll, I'll, I'll do that you guys can basically um yeah I'll, I'll email out um 
the comp stuff and the, the body comp stuff and things like that. Um, and you can pick those up if you want. Um, as I said, um, any shock implants if you're going to get if you're going to get those um, things like that. I should do that as well. I don't think I, I... I've been relying on my body comp to stim-dose me when I get stunned. Uh, but yes, I pro- I've I pro- noticed. I, I probably should do that as well. Yeah. So I'll, 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 email, I'll email people a list of um, body comp stuff. Um, do the technicians want the vehicle comp stuff or not? Uh... Yeah, I think so. No, I'll email you that too. It's only relevant for the technicians because the technicians are the only ones who can drive. Um, well, I mean, we could spend points on drive, but that's you not, could re- spend, it's yes. not really. You're not going to fly a gyrocopter with drive. No, ex- exactly. Drive is drive a car <laughs> or, or a ground vehicle or something like that. Um, or a water vehicle, maybe. Um, so I'll send that out to the technicians as well. I'll also send all the kits and, and um, CACs out as well for those who, who want those. Yeah, um, the com- computer aided computers and things like that. Uh, Skill wise, uh, mm-hmm. for a non military PSA, what's melee two? Uh, double 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 six, so twelve. Yeah. Okay. Uh, are you taking it? Because if you're taking that, I need to adjust the pay the pay scales. Oh, really? That changed. I've already got melee one, so it didn't add one. Ah, no, yep. that's fine then. No. Um, if you pick up might a, be a good skill to take, huh? If you pick up a new, if you pick up a brand new skill, not a skill level, let me know because it will adjust your pay. It will adjust your pay rates. Yeah, yeah. I think melee, given how useful cats melee is, I think going to melee <laughs> two is probably right. useful. I'll, I'll do that. Right. So, how well, many points for non-military for melee one? Six. Double three, because it's normally three per level, and it's so it'd be six. So are you picking up an extra skill, Cerise? Yeah, I'm going to pick up melee one. All right. All right. 130 credits a day. Anyone else? Nope. Um... And I'll leave Babu. I'll let Babu. I'll, I'll shoot James an email, a special email, so he knows what's going on. He'll probably end up watching this video as well. Now, unless people tell me otherwise, um, I'm going to unshare the notes from the last adventure. I'm not going to delete them because I want to keep them, but I'm going to unshare them so that they don't appear in your list to make it easy for you to find things. Yep. Is that, is that all right with everybody? Yep, um, that's fine. Yep. The owners can always reshare them if they, if they wish, um, but they're no longer relatives. They're no longer relevant, really, so I'll take them out. Um, <laughs> quotable quotes, nice one. Uh, and I'll get rid of that timeline as well. But um, James can always reshare it if he wishes. So yes. Okay, so um, I'm assuming you guys have selected what you're taking with you and what you're leaving behind and what you're equipping because one's a subset of the other, obviously. Um, just just because you're talking non-lethal, brass knuckles are 10 credits each, weigh a kilo. Uh, a night stick is 20 credits, weighs a kilo. Uh, shock gloves are 50 credits, weigh a kilo, you need a battery. Um, stun stick, 75, weighs a kilo. Um, yeah, so there you yeah. Um, needle to the eye socket. Painful. <laughs> um, Where's the hero? <laughs> no, no, it doesn't work here. Uh, grenades. Does anyone want some grenades? Those grenades are 10 each. Frag grenades are 20 each. Fire grenades are 20 each. Poison grenades are 30 each. Smoke grenades are 10 each. Tengra grenades are 25 each. Um, I'm assuming everyone's got pistols and rifles that they don't want to buy anything extra for. Yep, I'm um, pretty good. All right, just just to round it out, power clips are 100 each. Power be- power belt packs are 250, weigh four. Power backpacks are 500 each, weigh ten. Um, 
Does anyone need ammunition prices? Mm, I don't. Yeah, I'm uh, good. knowing what the needle of sleep clips are and uh, auto pistol okay, well, clips. Okay, the pistol needle. The pistol needle clips are ten a pop. The the uh, pistol bullet clips are two a pop. Okay, cool. And, and ten and they weigh point one each. Point one of a kilo each, if you you know, if you're that close to your limit. Um, screens, albedo screens are two grand, gauze screens are one grand, hollow screens are one grand, inertia screens are two grand, sonic screens are two grand. Uh, albedo suits are five hundred, military skin suits are three hundred, civilian skin suits are five hundred. Uh, screen uh, suits weigh a kilo when not worn. Uh, screens weigh two kilos, except for the inertia screen, which weighs three. So I put two items for Babu, a hollow screen and a stun stick. Yep, as cool. suggestions. Is and that in, in, in his list or whatever? Yeah, um, I put it in his inventory. Excellent. I put question marks with him, though, in case he decides he doesn't want them. Yeah, no, it's fine. Did you take the money off? No, I did not, but I put the amount next to him. That's good. Just as long as, long as I know, because he'll ask me that question. Yeah. Um, so, yes. Um, um, now, uh, individual individual bits and pieces of a med kit don't have to be included. Just include the entire med kit. Oh, it does it anyway. Uh, okay, makes sense. Um, what else? Uh I don't know whether you want to th take things like, I'm just going through Babu's list here, uh, rope um, or um, uh, he'll need his tech kit. If he's got a tech kit, or was that carrying that for somebody else? I think he was carrying that for me. Well, in that case, he's, he still needs to equip it. Otherwise, he hasn't, take, he hasn't bought it. I've got it on my set of stuff. Fine, as long as somebody's got it. Uh, Toxy red gauge, water packs. I don't know if you want to, you want to take any of that. Um, you're going to a base, so, uh, you know, water should be available. Yeah, I'll um, bring the tox, tax, ah, toxy ride gauge, but not the water and the... Yeah, um, all-weather blanket, uh, the chronochrome, you've got that. Desert, desert survival pills, probably not necessary. <laughs> steam yeah. bath, steam bath perf, perfume, yeah, he want to take that, but he, that, whether it's, you know, um, the Everflame... Um, he's got a, he's got a couple of frag he's got eleven fragmentation grades. My God, um, gas mask, yeah, you know, it's GPS compass, yeah, all, you know, all that type of stuff. If you want to take it, bring any of that, whether it's equipped or just or just carried, it's up to you guys. Okay. But I think it's I'm I'm going to have to re yeah I'm going to have to rework that I think slightly. I'm just looking at the code. I'm thinking about the code behind the the inventory. We need a fourth category. What I do is I use locations. If you look at my character sheet, yeah, but I'm looking at I'm looking at the long term impacts of how it, how it affects the um the weight, total weight carried as well. Yeah, it'd be nice to have equipped total weight equipped total weight carried carried. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So I might I'll, I'll add that to the list of things I have to do with the with FG. That's the type of thing that mate, you're going to want in most games. So I'll put I'll put it in the um I'll put it in the uh, the uh, the the base rule set when I get it done. Um, yeah, but that's okay. We can get it sorted. MO bag, MO bag, MO bag, MO bag, MO. <laughs> yeah, I've got to pull some of the grenades out and take them out of the ammo bag. Oh, do you? You sure? Yep. Oh, dear. Do you really need 23 fragmentation grenades? No, that's why they're in my ammo bag. I'm not taking my ammo bag. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, right. Makes sense. All right. Is anyone else taking any extra skills apart from Cerise? No. I'll take that as a no. Okay. I was toying with it, but I'll pass this time. Fair enough. And what's the um, stuff for Tangler grenades that dissolves it? Solve away. Solve away? 
Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. What's the cost on that? Um, it's a good question. It is ten credits. Ten credits, point one kilo of a a application. One application will do one grenade. Does the demolition expert want to take any demolition stuff? Like, for example, time at variable timers or um, explosives in general? I've already got some um, in storage. I just need to move to my actual. Mid. Yeah, carry. that's okay. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. So, when each of you are finished, could you just let me know, please? Yeah, I'm done and with that, Babu. Right. And for that matter, if, if there's anything else that you would like to do before you leave, I don't know what that would be. Deposit money in a bank account? I don't know. Um, can you let me know that that as well, please? Yeah, Kim, is there any fee or anything like that for a, a bank account? Uh, not if you're depositing. Okay, I'll be depositing. <laughs> well, just mark on your sheet, bank. You know, bank, that, that many credits. Or whatever. So you're done, Doc. Babu's done. I'm assuming you're done, Dan, or are you still going? Uh, i got to figure out um, uh, power clips at the moment. That's all and right. And smoke grenades. Okay. Cat, what about you? There you go. Uh, I'm still going. That's all right. I just want to make sure people aren't sitting around for doing nothing. Thank you, Voke. Oh. oh, I already had a holo screen. Ah. And also the holo screens, you can do something else, right? Yeah, you can get a feedback camera for them. I can't, I can't. Is there a price for that somewhere? Hang on. Yeah, that's another thousand credits. The feedback, but you could like have another personality or something. Oh, that's five thousand credits, and it takes time. Oh yeah, the the impersonate impersonate people thing. Yeah, no. Um, if you want a camo hollow screen, yeah, that's I said two grand according to. Um, yeah, the regular okay. one is a thousand, just to you know, for like some preset people to disguise yourself as a Yezerian or whatever and then the camouflage loop is another thousand to be 
camouflaged. Okay. And then the, the mm -hmm. specific ones require that person to be surveyed or for them to willingly get scanned. Yeah. Oh, pardon me, sorry. Oh, that's the... Uh, mm -hmm. mm, here we go, right. That's that one. Can you hear me? Am I, am I on speaker? Oh, yeah, yeah you're good. Yeah. No, I don't want to, I don't want to be because I might say something that I shouldn't say out loud. <laughs> I know I have power clips here. <laughs> Just gotta equip them somewhere. There they are, power clips. All right, I think I am done. Was I the last one to be done? I think Doc's uh, cat's still going. I'm still going. I'm just trying yeah, to... Yeah, that's cool. Take your time. It's all good. <sighs> ah, that's what I'm looking for. Right. Yeah, it looks like I've got some work to do over the next month. So are we all good? Yeah, I'm good. Still wait, just want to confirm with Jazz. You still good, Jazz? Uh, yeah, I just need to move over. That's all right. Just the explosives to my carry. You're ready. But I'm um, otherwise okay. Okay. I'm just going to sort through this numbers, um, how much I can carry. Yeah, it's all right. You've got to be a bit careful because, as I said, the, the system at the moment um, is just, if you've got it, if you're carrying it, even if it's not equipped, it still counts towards your, towards your weight limit. So we, I need to adjust it to give it actual equipped weight and um carried weight and then um baggage weight so that's the fourth one you know so you could carry it on your horse for example as baggage 
Yeah. Yeah. I need a fourth category, basically, is what I'm trying to say. And then to divide the weights up into carried, equipped, baggage, and and left at home type thing. So yeah. Right. Okay. Pardon me. My inventory was just a mess because we. Yeah. We messed things up for the moon base, and I just had to tidy everything up. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, I'm going to have to get those and convert those over. Okay. So once we're all right, which I'm assuming we are, or very close to it. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, okay, that's that one. All right, I think I'm I think I'm good. Okay. Yep, okay. Okay. Um, so, after two days of prep work, by, by purchasing equipment, stacking your packs and all the rest of it, um, uh, you you uh, report to the um, starport, um, catch a shuttle up to uh, one of the orbiting habitats, um, and then board a. Um, well, they call them tramp freighters. It's not really a tramp freighter. You know, it's it's quite quite a nice thing. Um, uh, the captain and uh, crew number five. Um, there's no indicate there there he um they're registered looks like it's a, a just an independent space freighter um, but you know that it's actually a spec ops um, a company spec ops ship um, there are uh, eight cabins uh, for passengers um, uh, and obviously some cargo space and then some uh, areas for um dining and, and all that. It's not particularly flash. Um, it's only got basic amenities, but it should get you to where you where you get to go get get to where you're going. Anyone got any questions? Nope. So let's okay. just make sure that we're all in agreement on our cover story. We're mercenaries so well, we're mercenaries going to go train a private client uh on the planet that this freighter's going to nets that's nets destination is on its route yeah i wouldn't say we're mercenaries i would just say hey you know we we uh because if they look us up they're gonna know who we are right and so yeah we're gonna go train a private client on you know reacting to un unpredict un unpredictable situations Part, am I, hang on, hang on, am I, uh, you're good, uh, part, I've, got, I've got to keep changing windows to find out whether I've got the mic muted or not, <laughs> um, your security slash survival experts, that's what you yep. are, and that's what, the, that's what the world would know, apart from heroes of Alternus, and possibly heroes of, of Karatar as well, I, I, I don't think the news would get that far that quick, especially if, especially if the Karatar authorities are trying to keep things quiet, um, but certainly the fact that the, the heroes of Alternus, if anyone does a um, does a Google search or the equivalent on you guys, it's going to show up. You know, you have Wikipedia entries, put it that way. <laughs> yeah, I like the survival experts. Yeah. That survival. way we're not a military threat to these guys. We're survival no. experts. Yeah, survival security experts. It's sort of the same thing. Oh, it's sort of kind of the same thing. 
I mean, I mean, again, if anyone looks you up, they're going to know Jazz is a combat specialist. They're going to know that the doc's a combat medic. You know what I mean? Yep. yep. Um, Absolutely. So, so the security, the security slash survival covers most of that, I think. So is that is that is that what you're going with? Yeah. Yep. All right. Um, it's an X day trip. I think it's a, I think it's about a twenty day trip. I'll have to check uh, once I get the thing up and running properly. Uh, you'll get paid for those days. Don't worry about it. Um, uh, when um, it's, you do a couple of jumps to get to where you need to get to, um, I think it's two or three. I can't quite remember. Um, pardon me. It's been a while since I looked at it, looked at the map, the star map. Oh, pardon me. Sorry, I got a burps up. Um, well, you come out into the, uh, you come out into the Bellafon system um, and uh, the ship's captain uh, basically uh, radio, radios a uh, snowball base uh, claiming a, uh, an engine uh, in, engine malfunction and permission to um, permission to dock for repairs. Um, this is uh, duly given. Um, if anyone's on the bridge, and you may, if you wish, you may not too. It's up to you guys. I presume the budding pilots are probably up there, but Cat won't be. Yeah, you're not going to be up there. You're, you're, like be... you're not going to be up there near, near the astrogator. Uh, I suppose. Yeah, that's a good point. This this is a this is like we call it a shuttle, but it's not really a shuttle. No, 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 no. This is this is a proper shot. This is a proper size three starship. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she'd be up. There. That you're on now. I said the shuttle took you to the ship. You know. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, because yeah, a shuttle ain't going to a shuttle is yeah, is not yeah, yeah. interplanetary. Um, so, yeah. Um, uh, can I, if anyone who, anyone who is on the bridge and speak up now, please. Yeah, Cat. Sure is. Yeah, Chaz. I want to see the pretty stars. Okay, so basically everybody. I'm asleep. Uh, you're asleep. Okay, everyone but Doc. Um, and Babu's you... drinking. And Babu's, well, Babu's sniffing perfume. <laughs> Can I get intuition checks off the four of you, please? Well done, Cat. Nope. Not a clue. I'm trying. Yeah, very trying, we know. <laughs> Cat, you're the only one, so you better come over to private room one, please. User left your channel. User was moved out of your channel. Whoops. User <laughs> your channel. Oh, he sent. User was moved to your channel. All in there. User joined your channel. User joined your channel. Um, so, uh, yeah, permission is given to Doc, um, and you spend the next couple of hours um, approaching uh, vent Ventry. Uh, is that right? I'm terrible with names all of a sudden. Snowball. Yeah, vent uh, Venturi uh, and Snowball. Um, Venturi, uh, Snowball is uh, on... Uh, either on its way into Venturi or having just just left because it's a very elongated orbit. You'll see when I, when I get you the, the details. Um, so it's either on its way in or, or it's on its way out, but um, uh, it's quite close to the planet Venturi. Venturi is um, huge. 
it's as I said, it's it's three times the size of our Jupiter. Um, you can see um, uh, there's a lot of turbulence in the atmosphere. Um, a lot of turbulence in the atmosphere of Venturi. Um, um, when you get close enough, you can see um, Snowball. Snowball appears to be little more than um, an ice ball. What type of ice? Methane, water or otherwise, you've got no idea. Uh, what is interesting though is that you can see that um, connected to Snowball by about a, a 20 kilometre long cable, I think it's 20, 20 clicks, uh, yeah, 20 kilometres, 20 kilometre long cable or so, um, there appears to be a starship connected to the end of the cable. Um, also, as you get closer to Snowball, along roughly half the length of the cable appears to be some sort of industrial tower, maybe. Um, any technician or engineer uh, or anyone else who thinks they should get an, some sort of industrial role can give me a, uh, a logic role to try and work out what it is, or intuition, either way. Okay, Kat, I'm going to put a slight penalty on you, only because it's not really relevant to, 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 to your area of expertise per se. Um, Already? Yeah, it's not computer. It's not really computer. I mean, what other do you have? She, any has, other she has engineering one. Oh, does she? Oh, sorry. And she's my a physicist. <laughs> my, 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 no, it's the engineering one. It's, I apologize. I forgot you had engineering one. Yeah, no, that's fine. Um, uh, Voc, you're, you, it's, it, 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 I'm assuming you're going to pass, I'm assuming you're going to pass this on to the others. You too? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. If you had to guess, You'd say it's some sort of micro gravity distillation setup. Um, it sort of kind of reminds you what you've seen in what you've seen in some petroleum um, refineries elsewhere. Hmm. It's not, but it doesn't look like a petroleum uh, catalyst tower. It, Is it, it hanging it, it, out? At down into the atmosphere of the planet? No, no, no. Snowballs, snowballs, you know, a couple of hundred thousand kilometers from, from Venturi. Uh, and this is, this is, uh, this, whatever this thing is, let's, let's call it a, let's, for argument's sake, let's call it a, 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 a catalyst tower for want of a better term. Um, it's roughly halfway along the 20 kilometer or so cable that connects the starship to Snowball. And the whole lot is whizzing around Snowball as Snowball rotates. And it's got a pretty, it's got a pretty wicked um, rotation rate. We're talking four to five minute rotation rate. In fact, if you give me an engineering role or a physics role, either one, for those who have those skills. Which engineering? Um, Good question. Where are you? I can't even find it here. Oh, it's because I'm looking the wrong area. <laughs> Alternate energies, architecture, civil, hydraulics, mechanical, military, and nuclear. Probably mechanical. Yeah, look, some back of the envelope, quick calculations. Um, with the, the length of the, the length of the cable from the center of snowball to the ship and the rate of rotation, you'd be very close to a full gravity of centrifugal force in the ship. So they have their own gravity? Well, you know, when you spin something around your head, there's a centri yeah, centrifugal but, force. Yeah. Yeah. Well, based on some rough calculations, it, the with the the rate the rate of spin of snowball, the length of the cable and the rest of it, it'd be very close to one gra one gravity at the ship of centrifugal force. Because don't forget, don't forget, ships only have gravity. Ships in this universe only have gravity when they're under 
acceleration. Oh, okay. All right, there is no such no, there is no such thing as artificial gravity in this in this universe. They haven't discovered it yet. So um, ships usually accelerate um, at one gravity, whether that's positive acceleration or negative acceleration. They usually do it at one gravity um, constantly. Um, they don't do it during the five minute or so jump period, and they don't do it during those times when they flip end to end to speed up or slow down. Uh, but this ship at the end of this cable would be in free fall if it wasn't spinning at the rate it is, at the distance it is. And as I said, the rough calculations are it'll be about it'll be it's, it'll be at about one grav, one g, at the at the ship. Um, so yeah. Anyone got any questions about that? No. No. Okay. So you uh, uh, make your way towards uh, Snowball. Um, Snowball itself. Um, it's a it's a reasonably tricky maneuver to get snow to get lined up with um, the Snowball docking bay, although. It's very close to the, the, the docking bays um, at the north, at what would be the one of the poles, north or south, of the um, of Snowball. So it's a matter of rotation, uh, 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 spinning along the long axis of the ship, as opposed to um, as opposed to racing around in a circle, in a big circular spiral to try and get into the into it as it spins. If that makes sense, I hope that makes sense to people. Um, and um, the ship docks in a uh, docking bay. Um, um, just as the ship finishes docking, um, a call comes in. Um, it's from uh, Snowball, um, where um, it's requested that uh, due to the nature of... Um, uh, the facilities, um, people will have to stay on the ship unless they, or at least in the, cannot leave the docking bay. Um, anything that you require in terms of repairs, you have to put a, uh, a request in. Um, and, and if there are any passengers on board, they are requested to stay aboard ship. Um, you either hear this directly over the uh, radio link or um, it's relayed to you via um, the captain um, on board. Uh, does anyone want to do anything in particular at this point in time? Uh, can the well, can the captain give us um, any uh, any briefing on the the cargo on the on where we're attached and the station and stuff like that? Ways we might be able to penetrate. Well, yeah, there, yeah, there's a, I mean, there's, there are, there's an airlock obviously leading out of the, leading, there's a docking tube leading to the ship from Snowball, um, but what's beyond that docking tube um, and the immediate uh, reception area back into the, um, the docking bay, because the docking bay is open to space, don't forget, um, is unknown, and as, I, as and the captain says, and you've been asked to stay aboard. So there's only it looks like there's only one way in and off the station, uh, which is via the docking tube. Um, there are a couple of doorways or hatchways from the docking bay itself leading further inside, but that's all in vacuum, um, and so getting to them is going to be problematic um, because there's not enough there's not enough um, space suits for everybody. How many spacesuits do they have? Uh, they've got uh, um, half a dozen, of which they're basically going to be using practically all, all of them to put across the uh, the ruse about repairs. I mean, there's nothing wrong with sitting. There's nothing wrong with sitting, sitting still, and uh, sitting there and, and uh, wait, waiting to see if there's any developments. You don't have to be uh, penetrate the the, the uh, snowball on the on in the first hour, for example. Yeah. Um, I 
Yeah, let's at least give it an hour or two. Learn what's going on, normal stuff. Maybe see if the crew can bring us any information. Um, Doc, maybe you can work up a medical excuse. I don't know. A medical excuse? Somebody's sick and needs a sick bay. Radiation. I don't know. It's a possibility. Um, well, um, nothing much happens for the first hour. I mean, the, the crew get ready to um, go EVA uh, to, to do these repairs in inverted commas. Um, in fact, nothing much happens for the first uh, six or seven hours, actually. Um, I'm assuming you're going to wait that long or are you, are you guys going to do something in the meantime? Or attempt to do something in the meantime. Decisions, decisions. I think we should wait that long, probably. Okay. So after about seven, eight hours, um, the, uh, the captain um, calls, calls you all to the bridge. Okay. Do you all go to the bridge? Sure. Yeah. Indeed we do. Yep. Once everybody's assembled, uh, the captain uh, says, uh, they're all here to the intercom to the radio system and a voice comes back uh, do i have the pleasure of talking to the heroes of alternus yes you do excellent uh, my name's captain ekza um, i am the captain of the Oh, for God's sake! Uh, the money—I'm the captain of the Money Spider. Uh, the Money Spider um, is the research is one of the research vessels here um, in the system. Um, I would like to uh, invite you to dinner if you're free. Sure. Excellent. Uh, if you would uh, care to exit the. Uh, Exit the uh, uh, docking tube at 1900 hours. Um, well, uh, I'll, I'll meet you there and, and we can have dinner in my cabin. Um, I'm looking forward to meeting you all in person. Uh, we don't get very many uh, inter interstellar heroes out this way. It will be a, a pleasure to talk to you. Yeah. Um, we'll and do it. Sorry, by the way, uh, Captain is, 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 uh, has a Vrusk accent. You can tell oh, the way they, click, they can click that, you know. Um, so, yep. Yeah. Um, so, uh, 1900 hours is about four hours away, uh, give or take. Um, and, um, I <laughs> hey? I guess, guess we're donning our finest civilian skin, skin suits. Who is this Captain Atka? Ak is he's the captain of the money spider. The money yeah, spider is one of the. Oh, we, we're looking to find out who he is. Oh, okay. Um, that would require Cat's particular uh, Google foo. Let me do it. Uh, you got access. Just give me an info and info, uh, a gather info roll. Uh, sorry, a. You know the one I'm after. Okay, um, takes you takes you fifteen minutes or so, uh, but eventually you get a bit a brief bio on um, a Captain Axa. Uh, Vrusk uh, works for Blue Blue. Uh, uh, 
Uh, works for... Where are we? Uh, Blue, uh, works for Bichem Corporation. Um, no, I'll stop it for you, mate, in a second. Uh, works for Bichem Com Corporation. Uh, is currently listed as the captain of uh, the Money Spider. The Money Spider is registered as a research vessel. Um, and apparently it's on assignment um, uh, to Project Venturi. Whatever Project Venturi is, there's no further information available at this point in time. No, it's not. It's a trap. Um, I'm probably not even pronouncing it right. Let me let me let me see if I let me see if I can get this. And if you want to correct my correct my pronunciation, a, a please. American accent then. No. Cerise is going to make sure her shell is freshly waxed. Oh, are you? Okay. Uh, what uh, yeah, what are you carrying with you, or what are you wearing carrying um, to dinner? Um, I'm not bringing they, my rifle. Yeah. Well, on that, probably bringing any weapon at all would be, or uh, obvious uh, obvious um, uh, screens and that would be is considered um, rude. Yeah, Cat was thinking just. Civilian skin suit with her little uh, uh, needle or pistol hidden up her sleeve for good measure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and you're not even taking your body comp, I take it. Uh, I th I got the question. I got the impression that that could do that that can stay on her because um, it, it could, yeah. it's a belt and it's she's a nerd. It kind of makes sense. Yeah. I don't think it's too out of place. Well. The body comps these days are in the, they would be the equivalent of a laptop. So, would you taking a laptop to dinner? Mm. I'm not saying don't do it. I'm just saying that would be the equivalency in these terms. Yeah. Um, so, I don't know whether you want to do that or not. It's up to you guys. Um, same with the med kit. I mean, or any of the other kits. It's probably not appropriate. True. Um, yeah, leave in, it. In, I'll leave it. Um, in that, how can in, how, how concealable is the stun stick? How concealable is the stun stick? The stun stick, from memory, is about twenty to thirty centimeters long. Um, Ew. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Um, long gun stun stick. Folk okay. is going in just a civilian skin suit since dralocytes have a very hard time concealing anything. True. <laughs> I don't know. You could. Yeah. No, you strap. You, I mean, you shove it down your trousers and have it strapped to your thigh. Well, the, suppose, my but... skin suit, my skin suit sticks to my skin. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. No. No. Okay. No. Basically, you shape you, you shape yourself into an appropriate bipedal or tripedal tripedal form and you wear it like clothes. Yeah, I'm bipedal. I just have. Hmm. Actually, I think I can have four arms now. Um. Yes. What's yeah, your, what's so your I'm a four-armed. Yeah, what's your dex? 80. Uh, um, and I think that's four arms, four legs. Uh, no, divided it's only by 20, uh, isn't it? Divided by 10, rounded up. So I can have yeah. eight limbs. So yeah. two legs, a head. Oh, I forgot about a head. Yeah. Um. Surely, given given enough time, you could uh, fashion yourself an orifice to conceal a weapon in. Like that. That's, oh, yeah, that, yeah. that's actually yeah. that's not actually that. I mean, it's dirty, but it's not break breaking the rules or anything. No, no, it's not breaking the rules. Yeah, basically, you, you, you form yourself a pouch or a pocket. Yeah, it takes about ten minutes. Yeah, so I'll have five arms. God. <laughs> Five you, arms, you, you two realize, legs, you, and a head. You, 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 okay, you realize the skin suit won't match. Hmm. Then I'll have a head on top. Then I'll have a second head on top of my first head. Oh God. Okay. Well, it's not even a head because what makes it a head is the fact that your two eye spot, your two eye sockets are on it. You can't put your different eye sockets on different parts on different heads. <laughs> You know what, then you instead, of, instead of making a second head out of the same spot, my current head is going to turn into a Y. Okay, yeah, that can be done. Technically, they're fingers. Um, 
the military skin suit jazz are you sure about that <laughs> that's what jazz always wears she doesn't have a civilian skin suit okay no that, and that's that's the case fine uh the knife uh where's the knife going again is it going to be visible or is it going to you're going to put it inside out of the way out of the sight well does the ship's um rules prohibit carrying weapons well it depends on the ship yeah and you have no idea with the money spider um but i'm i'm simply talking ask about, before hang on, hang on. i'm simply talking and i'm simply i'm simply going on etiquette what is deemed appropriate would it be appropriate to carry a knife to a dinner party in this day and age here on earth uh no but jazz wouldn't care uh jazz would just follow the rules if the rules say nope you cannot carry it then he won't well but if, the jazz, if the rules are silent about it he'll carry it and he'll deal I, with the the dirty looks he doesn't care i i think you know i mean if, if you want to look at the wild west you know yeah, i could go but... in, in parts of in parts of arizona i could carry a sidearm to dinner at a restaurant it, it without matter. if anybody if, if, Blink. he's going to carry it unless rules say no so the rules yeah. say no then he won't carry it but if the rules are silent or say it's okay then he'll carry it even though people will get pissed at him he'll deal with people being pissed at him he doesn't care right. he's our he's our he's our military guy he's, he's not yeah. gonna go unarmed unless he has to go unarmed <laughs> all right so i mean so apart from apart from the knife and the electro stunner i'm assuming the electro stunner you're wearing on your on your waist yeah the knife will still uh, also be visible, but like maybe a boot sheath or maybe on the yeah, other okay. side. Yeah, okay. A boot sheath, a boot sheath, I can, I can, you probably get away with. All right. Um, one of these, one of these combat knives you strap to near your shoulder, probably not. You know, um, not again. It's a dinner party. You're in, being invited to dinner. Uh, <laughs> so, and as far as the Wild West is concerned, yeah, um, most of the world isn't like that, dude. Well, most of the civilized world isn't like that, dude. <laughs> I understand, but we're also in the frontier, right? Well, frontier sector, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, wearing side, depending on where you are. I mean, the main, the main, the main civilian planets, sidearms are probably frowned upon. Um, some of the more, some of the less uh, populated planets, sidearms are expected. Yeah, um, and but don't so. forget, you just introduced us to our benefactor who showed that he was carrying a sidearm, right? I didn't say that. That's okay. I, you know, I never said that. I never said anything like that. Nope. Sorry. Yeah, I never said anything is, like that at all. Jazz is fine with being frowned upon. He'll, he'll carry oh. the weapon. Okay. That's cool. Uh, uh, so, um, most of you have just got your civilian skin suits on, I take it. A couple of you are carrying concealed weapons, and Jazz is going full, full, full commando. Well, no, not full commando. That's a bad way of saying that. <laughs> Oh, there's an image I didn't want. There's an image I did not want. He just won't be <laughs> looking. Uh, he just, he's just not, he's not trying to be subtle. Put it yeah, way. yeah, okay. All right. Um, anything else you want to look at on the computer, Cat, while you've got it open? Uh, maybe uh, what that, uh, the ship that was in an orbit that we thought maybe, uh, trying to give itself artificial gravity by how it's configured the money spider yeah, yeah. Uh, oh that's that's his ship yeah cool that's his ship yeah yeah uh, maybe maybe uh, trying to get some info on what it like it is supposed to be doing uh, its yeah, okay. history yeah sure give me yeah give us a give us a give us a give us an info roll it's gonna be a little harder to find though you oh, good no not a roll like that it ain't <laughs> Uh, money spider, money spider. Where's the money spider? Um, it's... it was commissioned in 1938. Yeah, it looks like from looking at the map here, it look, it's looking like a size five um, vessel. Um, interplanetary engines. Um, it is registered as a research vessel. Um, there's is there very a map little... we should be looking at. Uh, I've got one, but I haven't got it ready for you. Um, okay. I, 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 I didn't think I didn't think you need it yet, and I didn't have a chance to knock one up. Um, but there is a map. I'll get, I will get them. I will get this stuff to you. Don't, don't just yeah. Um, it yeah. I mean, it's it certainly it's certainly not registered as having any weapons um, or anything else like that. Um, it's uh, apparently got 
apparently got a, a couple of um, shuttles assigned, which isn't that unusual. Um, and a crew of, or nominal crew anyway, of um, 20, um, which again, for a research vessel wouldn't be, wouldn't be unusual. Uh, for a size 5 vessel wouldn't be unusual either. Um, actually, I don't know if it's size 4 or size 5. I'll have to check that, but it's around. It's certainly bigger than the ship you came in on, put it that way. And don't forget, uh, ship vessels go to size 20. Yeah. Um, which are the big the big battle cruisers and the, and the really big freighters. Um, yeah. Ag ships tend to be size 6 to 14. Yeah, just give you a rough idea of what you're looking at. Um, assault scout. Sorry, can I just interject? What's the name of the corp again? Uh, it's a uh, blue chem, I think, from memory. Um, no, by chem, B Y B Y C H E M Corporation, by chem corp. Um, yep. they're they're one of the smaller mega corps. Um, they're they're frontier sector wide, but they they they're constant. They're chemical corporation. Um, they specialize in, well, yeah, chemical chemicals. Uh, making chemicals, um, distributing. They're a bit like, um, is it DuPont in the States? Um, yeah, um, just one of them. Thank you. I was yeah. just, I'm taking notes. So. Yeah, no, no, I realise that's what you're doing, and that's why I'm trying to give you as much information as possible. Um, yeah, the ASN plant's imported. You can't actually t- take that out. Uh, the Conochrom, the Combi goggles, yeah, maybe it's a little bit, yeah. Although the Azerian, yeah, let's probably get away with that. Uh, pocket tool, yeah, all that type of stuff. I'm assuming it's fine. Um, yeah, so they're like Dupont or or um, I can't think of the other chemical, the, the other big chemical companies in the in uh, in the world. Um, can anyone think of some chemical companies? Dupont. Yeah, Dupont. Dupont. There's a couple others though. Um, I yeah, anyway. Think that, of any. Yeah, yeah, they do. They do. They're yeah. They make industrial chemicals and 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 that uh, and thing. Which again, tying back to the uh, distillation tower or whatever the damn thing is hanging off the side of the cable connecting the money spider to Snowball, it could be some sort of chemical um, distillation plant, microgravity distil- distillation plant. But why you'd need to do something like that in such a remote location? I mean, you can set up. I mean, there's nothing special about a micro a microgravity distillation uh, distillation setup. You can set them up almost anywhere where there's microgravity. Why come all the way out here if that's what's going on for a research project? They're making chemicals for themselves then. Possibly, but why do it here? Why not do it somewhere more convenient to get to? Because the gas giant has something. Does it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't have any data on the planet itself, what its composition is. I don't think anyone does, apart from people who've been here for a while. <laughs> so then maybe that's the what they're looking at. That's what maybe. the research is. Possibly. Uh, anything else while while you've while you've got the, the link open, Kat? Push the talk, Ben. <laughs> oh, I was hitting the wrong button. Yeah, I figured uh, that. Uh, no, not not that I can think of at the moment. Should be good. All right. All right. Well, um, uh, uh, 1900 rolls around. Um, whoops, what am I doing here? No, that's what I want. There we go. Um. And um, uh, Captain Axis uh, is in the Starship dock area, control area. Um, he is a uh, Yuzirian. Um With him is a Yuzirian. Uh Both are wearing the uniforms of the Bichem Corporation. Um, you know, bi-chems on the breast, on the breast and, you know, shoulder pads, whatever. Um, 
Ah, excellent. I am Captain Aziz, and this is one of my crew member, uh, one of my crew members, uh, Castus Wallor. I'll write that out for you. Why for your hearing? Um, and he holds his hand out to the first of you out the door and uh, looks quizzically at you, uh, obviously waiting for you to introduce yourselves to him. Uh, I think Babu will go first since he's our politician. He'll, uh, <laughs> I, I don't know if, uh, if Adralis I can smile, but he'll smile and hold out a pod and, ah, I'm Babu Johnson. So nice to meet you, Captain. And this is uh, behind me, Ceres, our technician. And uh, then uh, we have Kat, our computer scientist, and Jazz, our uh, survival expert. And, <laughs> and uh, uh, Dr. Paro. Except I don't know Dr.'s last name, Paro's last name. So he'll introduce everybody. I'll give him a good flash of the medals. It's so nice of you to uh, invite us for dinner. A change of pace is always welcome. Did we lose you, Matt? Did I get lost? No, no I can hear. We lost Matt, maybe. Sorry, had the mic muted. Can I get a uh, bab off Babs? Can I get a either an intuition or a logic check? Either one's good. Yes, you may. Sorry, I keep forgetting I put the mic on mute. Are you guys still getting that feedback that that um, no. um, Aussie, Aussie James was complaining about months ago? Nope. Nope. Okay. Uh, Babs, can I have you over in private room one, please? User left your channel. Uh, private room one. User left your channel. Did you want to recall what he said about this Waller Castus, what his job was? Uh, no. I think it just said staff member. Okay, yeah, thanks. Now that Matt left the room and his mic isn't always on, everyone's super loud. Yep. User joined your channel. User joined your channel. Oh, thank God. I don't have to have my eardrums bleed anymore. Why is, he, why is that? What are you talking about? Because your mic is always on and you're a priority speaker, so everyone gets dimmed down. Yeah. So when you left, Sorry. everybody was loud. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I uh, forgot about that. Um, if the captain says, so if you would care to accompany, accompany me to the, uh, the money spider, that would be, uh, uh, that would be uh, fine. And he leads you uh, out of the, um, the docking bay control room uh, through a, basically to a, um, a, a lift car, effectively. Um, which and the you... captain is a human? The captain is a Vrusk. Thank you. Sorry. Vrusk or Yazirian? Vrusk. Castus is a Yazirian. The captain Castus is... is... Yeah. Castus, is, Castus Waller, the crew member, is a Yazirian. Uh, captain Axis is a Vrusk. Okay, thank you. That's okay. Um, so uh, you, you all get into this. Well, it's part lift car, part monorail car. It's a bit of, you know, whatever. Uh, the gravity, it, it, it's virtually zero grav. It's, it's, it's very, uh, yeah, very, um, yeah, nice one, Paul. Um, uh, very, um, uh, yeah. So you're whisked away um, uh, through the, um, 
through some sort of transport tube um, and uh, into a um, into another area of snowball. You're not quite sure where. It's very hard to tell. Um, where there is um, uh, some uh, industrial equipment and um, a, a, a lift, an actual an actual zero uh, zero atmosphere lift capsule or capsule uh, waiting in front of uh, an airlock, a large airlock door. Uh, the captain uh, exits the car and heads towards this zero atmosphere car or lift, whatever it is. Uh, I'm assuming you all follow. Um, yeah, just yep. trying and, to take notes on our way. And Walla or um, Walla comes uh, comes up the yeah makes up the rear, uh, comes up the rear. Um, you enter the uh, this large lift capsule. Uh, when everyone's in, um, the uh, outer door is or airlock door what is sealed, um, and uh, whatever it is starts moving on a uh, small cable towards the. Um, exterior airlock, which cycles cycles you through, uh, and you find yourself out in space, um, attached to the side of the very long cable heading towards the money spider. Uh, there are some there are viewports if you want to look out, um, and um, space spins by, and yeah, so you do a circuit every four and a half minutes or so. Um, as as you travel down the um, fourteen or so odd fifteen odd kilometers down towards the money spider, um, the catalyst tower, whatever it is, is is about ten kilometers long. Although most of the most of the workings seem to be up on the surface of Snowball, um, um, with only uh, with only a, a thin part of the installation. Uh, uh, Heading along the the uh, the connecting cable uh, towards the money spider. As I said, it's about a fourteen it's about a fourteen fifteen kilometer trip. Takes you know about a quarter of an hour, give or take. Uh, and eventually, you uh, this thing docks with the um, docks with the, the the money spider starship, and it is a starship um, in its own right. Um, its tail. Um, down between the atomic nacelles, atomic pods, um, is what's connected to the cable. So the the money spider is constantly pointing away from uh, Snowball as it swings through its orbit. Does that make sense? Yep. Good. Um, as you disembark, uh, the uh, the captain says, "If you care to follow me to my uh, to my cabin." Um, Um, and uh, and as you head off, uh, Cactus Waller uh, does not follow you. He heads off in in a different different direction in the ship to do something, whatever that might be. Who knows? Um, it's a short tri- trip to the captain's um, captain's cabin. Uh, the outer cabin is set up in a, as a dining as an eight person dining room dining setting. Um, yeah, uh, the captain. Uh, if anyone wants to do anything, jump in and jump in and interrupt me. Um, dinner uh, is simple but rather elegant. Um, it's not a bad meal, actually. Um, and during me during the meal, uh, apart from talking about yourselves uh, for the first half or so and what you did on Volturnus and anything else you care to divulge to him, which I don't know what you want to divulge. Trying to keep tight-lipped at the moment, I think. Okay. Well, he, he, I mean, he gives out. I mean, he, 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 you be polite, I'm assuming. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he's uh, quite, he, he talks to you. He says, you know, the conversation, the conversation eventually um, revolves around to, um, to um, uh, uh, Balanfor. In fact, I'll give you that one too. Hang on a sec. Um, Because I'm not pronouncing these right, I'm sure. (laughs) 
Right. System, planet, moon. Okay. Um, he also, uh, the captain also, you know, you know uh, what bring, you know, it's in our, uh, uh, Balnafar um, is, uh, you know, out of the way, you know, he basically gets, you know, asks you, you know, what you're doing, where you're going, how's, you know, what have you been doing since, since Volturnus, things like that, at which point your cover story is uh, mentioned, told, informed of, whatever. Um, and the captain seems to take it, uh, captain, um, as is, seems to take it in his strides. He, he takes it in his stride. Um, I'm going to paraphrase a lot of this next part. Um, if you want to jump in and ask questions, please do. Basically, uh, the captain informs you about about what's going on. Um, you know, it's uh, Balanfar Balan, Balan has uh, three planets uh, orbiting it. Um, two of these, uh, which they've named um, Gog and Margog, are in close orbit around the star. Um, roughly, they're small, hot, rocky, and barren. Um, and of course, uh, Venturi itself is um, uh, a gas giant, pretty cold, as he says, the captain. Uh, certainly, sub certainly sub zero temperatures. It's sub zero Celsius temperatures. Um, it's got an extensive system of moons and rings. Um, so yeah. Um, Extensive sets, uh, most of them are named asteroid. There's an asteroid uh, belt following uh, around Venturi itself, as well as around the system. Literally, Belnafar uh, Bel should have been a, a binary system. And if uh, if Venturi was a little bit bigger, it would have been. Um, so, so yeah, uh, Venturi itself. Um, well, the top of the atmosphere is about 180 degrees below centigrade, below zero. Um, and down deeper, it uh, actually gets as hot as minus 50 degrees. Um, there's a, a there's a, a core of liquid liquid um, down deep. Um, we've sent probes down, and um, it's you know um, the pressure gets so high that uh, a lot of a lot of gases have actually liquefied. Um, uh, and in some cases even solidified because uh, it's so cold down there. Um, what else can I tell you? Um, the the upper part of the atmosphere is um, composed mostly, mostly of hydrogen with some helium, um, methane, ammonia, and there are traces of other compounds. Uh, these trace compounds include uh, a number of very complex, unstable biochemicals, which are, I'll be honest with you, which are highly valued as catalysts for industrial processes. Um, the atmosphere itself is cloudy, very cold, and we've measured wind gusts of up to 2,000 kilometres an hour. Um, the planet's also very susceptible to violent magnetic storms. Um, snowball, average of six kilometres in diameter. It's pretty irregular. Um, it doesn't have an atmosphere, and the outside temperature is about at minus forty degrees Celsius. Um, it's one of the many moons uh, orbiting Venturi. Uh, it's very small compared with the rest. It's large, lumpy, cold block of frozen water and carbon dioxide, basically dry ice. Uh, as I said, you. I've already told you. I've already told you about the, the elongated orbit. Um, yeah. Um, as dinner's wrapping up, as such, um, hang on. Yep. I do have an ulterior motive uh, for inviting you to dinner. I wanted to... Um, I wanted to sound you out about something you can help me with. Uh, with the, the, we will pay you, of course. 
uh, for your for your help. Um, but when I found out the heroes of Alternus were in system, I thought my uh, my luck had finally changed, or our luck had finally changed. Um, Hang on, I've lost what I was looking for. So yeah, um, and when he says this, the captain takes on a very grave expression. Um, so yes, I wanted to see if I could list you for your help. You see, you see the Venturi project itself is very close to a complete failure. How so? Well, you've set up all these, uh, yeah. <laughs> look like you've set up so much and <sighs> about, uh, about 20, 30, about 32 days ago, there was some sort of accident on the Jetson platform. Um, we have a, 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 a platform um, that basically bobs around in the atmosphere of Venturi. It's the second part of the, of, of the project. Um, we, we have a couple of teams of, of specialists who spend um, 38 days on platform and then swap out for 38 days here on the Money Spider. And it's 38 days because it takes Snowball 38 days in its orbit around Venturi. And we only, we only can get to the Jetson platform during the, the Snowball's closest approach to the planet. And let me guess, your specialists haven't contacted you yet, or they missed their, their rendezvous. Uh, no, they contacted us. In fact... Um, and he reaches over and, and touches a touches a um a button. Um, we before I before I play before I play you the transmission, you need to know some stuff um, about Jetson, and you need to know some some further stuff about the uh, about Venturi itself. Um, the Jetson platform is held aloft by um, superheated um, helium in um, basically gas bags uh, and when I say superheated I don't mean it's hot I mean it's superheated compared to the rest of the atmosphere um, so it it has no fixed position but it maintains a constant altitude so it blows around the it blows around the atmosphere of Venturi as the Venturi winds di dictate um, it collects and does some preliminary refining, refining of some of these rare, chemi rare biochemicals um, I mentioned earlier. Um, and then obviously when we do a shift change, um, the returning crew um, bring uh, the refined, bring canisters of the refined chemical back with them, uh, which goes through um, some further refinery uh, against the, uh, micro, the micro refi microgravity refinery you certainly saw on your way here. Um, the magnetic storms of Venturi uh, means that uh, radio communication is impossible um, in or out of the into or out of the atmosphere out of the atmosphere. Um, so to uh, to uh, to protect against that, we um, installed a subspace radio on the uh, the Jetson platform, Jetson platform. Um, and as I said, 32 days ago, um, we, um, we received this transmission. I see. When the transmission finishes. So. 
so. How many people were are down there? <sighs> well, each team consists of a team of four. Um, and um, the uh, the day after we received this, um, four of my crew, including some of the uh, the, the the alternate team, um, attempted a um, a rescue mission. Uh, they even though uh, Snowball was on its way out, out system, out, outbound, um, they climbed into uh, one of the shuttles uh, and attempted a rescue mission. Um, I last thing we heard, they were entering the atmosphere. Um, we lost radio communication, which we don't have subspace radios on the shuttles. Unfortunately, it's too expensive, and we haven't heard from the four of them since. Um, there was a particularly violent uh, storm occurring at the time. It's conceivable the shuttle was somehow disabled by the storm um, and didn't make the Jetson platform. Um, or it could have made the Jetson platform and the four crew members are um, somehow not able to make contact with us. So... There could be four, there could be eight, or anywhere in between. If they didn't make the platform, I would assume that they are lost inside of the gas giant then? Uh, unfortunately, yes, that is the case. Um, there were nowhere near enough supplies for the um, uh, on aboard the shuttle for them to last as long as, uh, last this long. I, I said it's been 30 uh, it's been 30, uh, 31, 32, 33 days. Um, so they're either on the platform or they're lost, or both. That leaves me with six crew members, including myself. That's barely enough to run the mon to keep the money spider itself running. We don't have anyone else. So what I am proposing is that so that's that's the situation what i'm proposing is that you help save the project this would be you would have to descend to the jetson platform the next tomorrow morning um when we'll be at the closest approach um restore the platform's systems to a working order that doesn't mean repairing everything it just simply means getting it safe that we can send our people in. Um, obviously, rescue any survivors uh, and bring back as many of the survivors and the tanks of biochemical um, as soon as possible at the next closest approach, which will be in 39 days. Does this sound like something you can help us with? So just open well, thought here. If we do yep. this, our freighter's going to be long gone. Uh, yes, um, I've, uh, I've, 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 we've, we have a, a contingency plan for that, which I'll tell you about in a moment. So that won't be a problem, says the captain. And All we'll right. get you to your next destination as quickly as we can. That I promise you. When did they so run he, out of supplies? Who? Your team down there. Jetson. Oh, the, the, well, Jetson, team, the Jetson team should have plenty of supplies. And, um, and they it sounds like they're in freeze fields. Well, uh, yeah, they sounds like they've been in freeze fields, um, so they won't need supplies. Um, the shuttle crew, the rescue crew, the, the rescue shuttle, they had about two or three days supply. So uh, unless they made the platform, Assuming they, you know, they made it at all. So you should have be another like shuttle a... that we can take to get there? Yes. Yes, we have one more. And you have a have shuttle pilot? Um, it's pretty automated. Um, it's basically uh, there. The, 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 it's basically the shuttle's been set up. Um, it's, under, it's under sophisticated computer control. Um, it's either uh, the shuttle either homes in on the platform 
or it homes in on the money spider, or there is an emergency break orbit setting. But I'll get to that in a moment if you don't mind. Um, look, let me, let, me, let me go through what I propose in detail. Uh, that might answer a lot of your questions, says the captain. Um, basically, um, we'll put you up for the night here on the money spider, saving to travel back. Any, any of your equipment, um, any baggage or that that you need, I'll, I'll have delivered uh, and transferred, transferred here to the money spider. We have um, six cabins free you can use um, to, for, for, for the next couple of hours. Um, the uh, shuttle will depart at 5 a.m. 0500 um, tomorrow morning. Um, now, I must insist that the entire incident be kept secret after you leave the system. Um, I'll, tell the, uh, I'll tell the freighter crew uh, that you've been offered a job here by the Biochem Corporation and will not be continuing your journey. And then, of course, after the mission, uh, we'll provide trans transport um, to wherever you, are, uh, wherever you need to go. Um, I'll provide you each um, with uh, a chill suit uh, with a uh, inbuilt belt pack, um, a breathing mask, and two oxygen tanks. Um, we'll give you a. Uh, we'll, we'll also supply you with biochem corporate uniforms, which is actually a um, a civilian skin suit. He says on the quiet, and a uh, and a vibro knife, uh, which is standard. Bi which is standard uh, biochem issue. Um, uh, we'll also uh, give you a, a chronochrome, um, a torch, and um, enough survival rations uh, to last you each the 38 days or 34 days, whichever it is, um, just in case supplies are in short supply. Um, I'll author, also authorise you use of the, CL, the CRL-E1 maintenance robot to help you out. Um, and as a group... I can provide you with two electro stunners, um, a laser rifle, five laser pistols, a needler rifle, two needler pistols, two albedo screens, two gauze screens, two sonic weapons, 15 power clips, eight power backpacks, belt packs, sorry, and two power belt uh, backpacks, um, 12 pistol clips, 12 needler pistol clips, and six needler pistol rifle clips, two toxic rad gauges, two free fields. Uh, five things of ropes, uh, five coils of rope, sorry, three coils of rope, five vials of solve away, uh, two tech kits, two ROM kits, two med kits, and an enviro kit. Even if you've got those yourself, the extra supplies will come in handy. Yeah, uh, nice. can you put that in chat or I say will, it again I'll, slowly? I'll, 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 I'll write you a note. Okay. I was going to put it in the Viking Corpse the gift basket. Hang on, hang on. What was that? No, that's not his entire inventory of supplies. That's just what he's what he's willing to give you, to get to to, to help you help you out with this mission. It's rather important to him. You get the impression. Yeah, I'm asking for the compensation. Yeah, I'm getting there. Um, the uh, I'll also load the shuttle computer with as much with a data file containing all the technical specifications of the jets and platform and any other relevant information. That file will be being compiled right up to the time that you that the shuttle leaves. So it'll be it'll have everything we know. Um, now compensation um, for going to the for, for going to the Jetson platform and repairing whatever systems are necessary to leave the platform in a stable working condition. Um, I can give each of you seven thousand credits. For every crew member rescued, not including any of the safes, um, I'll give you 1,500 credits each. And for every tank of biochem you recover, I'll give you 150 credits each. Um, look, the, 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 the snapes, the, the safes and the jets and robots, leave them behind. Okay. So what would you say? The safes? Safes. Yes, yeah, safes. Uh, we what are use... those? We use genetically engineered super apes to help with our work. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. Well, <then. laughs> oh, no. You. Walking into Planet of the Apes. Oh. 
<laughs> now I see where it all went wrong. Oh, do you do, yeah. do you? Okay. You, you had me up until now. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, okay, this is going to be easy. It was just some electromagnetic storm that was really bad. That or we're fighting a race of super sentient gas people. Okay. Tell, tell me, us more about these genetically me, modified super apes. Because yeah. that's going to impact our uh, uh, fee negotiations right there, I think. Oh, I don't know. They're, they're pretty harmless normally. Um, we've never had any problems before. And in fact, um, if you want to give, if you guys want to give me again a, an intuition or a, or a log, actually it's a logic roll, this one. Um, it's not the first time you've heard of these things. They're not that common, but they they are used around. Um, they they are used around the frontier, usually in when when you need strong, um, uh, a strong back and not much brains. You know. Um, so let me let me tell you about the shapes because you're interested. I just want to know if there's any history of them going um, off mission. Mm, yeah, none. Not none. Not not significantly. No. Let me give you the background. Not um, that they publish. <laughs> they're especially bred strain of two meter tall, muscular ape-like creatures originating on uh, the Yazirian home planet. Uh, they have been bred by Renolf Associations of Haxor. That's on Scree Fron, by the way, uh, as an alternative to robots in certain applications. SAPES are currently being tested in a wide variety of settings, usually hidden from the prying eyes of larger corporations, hence their presence on Jetsum. Uh, Renault Associations hope to be able to sell SAPES on the basis of their cheapness. Rumour has it about 2,500 credits each. Low running costs, about 10 credits a day. Uh, versatility, strength and agility. Hang on, what was that? Super safe, chilled out, buzzed on MJ apes. Sounds harmless. What do you mean buzzed on MJ? I don't get what you mean by that. Uh, smoking pot. Oh, marijuana. Sorry. I, yeah, I was thinking along different lines. Might be one of them okay. broke into one of the super canisters. The chemical yeah. canisters. Oh, well, if that was the case, then they'd be dead because the chemicals are toxic to all known life forms. Um. At present, however, uh, sorry, uh, the corporation maintains that members of the major races, especially humans, Yazirians, will prefer SAPES to robots, especially when working in isolated situations, i.e. like we've got here. At present, however, SAPES are generally mistrusted by people and governments. Ownership of a, of a SAPE is illegal without a license, and such licenses are only granted to large corporations. Be uh, by chem is big enough but only just in terms of this is gm to player not captain to characters um they're about as intelligent as a four-year-old human and learn quickly especially by mim mimicry they speak their own language which consists entirely of simple one and two word phrases and normally wear polyvoxes programmed to translate safe into pangal and vice versa they are bred to be docile and obedient and will normally obey any one or two word command given by a member of one of the major races, unless this will expose the SAPE to obvious danger. Thus, SAPEs will not normally obey orders to attack. They will never attack other SAPEs uh, and will ignore commands given via intercoms, etc., or from robots. Um, despite their breeding, SAPEs remain, sorry, SAPEs retain vestibules, vestibule, vest, small parts of their primitive origins and will resort to violence under extreme conditions only. Um, they have been known to kick, punch and wrestle. Um, we have obviously um, some safe handlers on staff. In fact, Curtis is one of our safe handlers um, here on the ship. Um, any questions about the SAPES, says the captain? No. Nope. No. Yes, but you would be, Jazz, because you don't trust anyone. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, uh, so uh, back to what we were talking about, which was the offer. 
Well, it's plenty of compensation. Yeah. Um, so you should you should be expected to remain on Jetson for 38 days until the time of Snowball's next closest approach in 39 days time. Um, in dire emergency, however, you, the, you could take the shuttle into a low orbit around Venturi, uh, which is basically the limit of its range, and uh, establish radio contact with us here on the Money Spider, and then we'd come and get you uh, and anyone you've rescued, of course. Um, this, however, would ruin the micro distillation column, um, and that would condemn the entire project to becoming a financial failure. Um, if this is the situation, then there will not, I'm afraid there will not be any, um, any funds available to compensate you with. Is that clearly understood? Got it. Yeah. So you want us to, t you want us to put our lives in jeopardy. And if things are as bad as you think they are, and we're well, not able to restore the suit. You're not going to do anything but rescue us. You're not going to compensate us for the risk of our lives. Well, I'm going to compensate you for the risk of your lives, and I don't think it, I don't think the risk is excessively outbound for uh, individuals such as yourselves who are used to dealing with uh, our unusual situations like uh, such as this. My crew aren't. Um, as I said, um, I honestly do not expect you to have to uh, use the emergency out, out uh, protocols. Um, and I'm being honest and upfront with you that if that is the case, um, you won't be getting compensated and I'll be out of a job. Because the company will not keep me on. Oh, yeah, my career will be ruined, as will most of the careers of the people here. Um, that's not to say we won't save your life, but it's a last resort for everybody. And I want you, I'm, I'm being honest with you in what I've, in what I've told you to, to make sure that you understand this. I don't intend to shaft anyone. In fact, I intend for this project to be a success, which is why I've, I've approached you in the first place. He's very earnest and he's coming across as he, he's being honest too. And quite frankly, you've just picked up a hell of a lot of information for your spying mission for nothing, I might add. Yeah. Are there any agents we can introduce, for example, airborne, that would affect these things rather than us? Or perhaps we could carry our own oxygen supply? Well, I am providing you with oxygen supplies um, as part of the deal. Um, that's the the... While the atmosphere of Venturi isn't lethal in terms of poisonous, it has no oxygen, so you won't be able to breathe it. So if for some reason the, uh, the, the outer area of Jetson has been exposed to the atmosphere of Venturi, you'll need oxygen. Um, yes, those grenades, knockout gas, will work against, will work against snakes. Uh, will, will, will work against sapes. Um, their, their genetic disposition isn't too much different from yourself, Jazz. Um, obviously, um, the difference in genetics would be like between, say, orangutans and humans. I'm like, wait, did you just call me an ape? No, I called you a Yazirian. <laughs> so, yes. So... Um, do we have an accord? Sure. Yep. Yeah, I, I need to. I'll need to get gear off of our ship. Yeah, as I said, we'll, we'll transfer all your gear to the Money Spider. Um, I want an opportunity to take out a life insurance policy. Uh, <laughs> that that I can't help you with. <laughs> you no, can certainly. That's why you, I need to be able to do that. You, you, you can certainly you can certainly do a last will and testament, and we can keep it on file for you. So, is he not going to let us go back to um, our shuttle, our uh, freighter? Uh, well, no, he'd prefer not to. Why? 
Well, because I'd like to. I'll, my excuse is that I have some of my equipment that's not readily accessible to somebody who doesn't know where it's stored. I see, he says. Well, I mean, if that's the case, then that's, and if you need that equipment, then that's the case. But um, I, I, I really don't want anyone, I mean, I'm worried about the security and you may say something inadvertent to the, to, to the freighter crew um, that may give something away. And I really, I'm really trying to avoid that, he says. Well, it seems to me that if, if we come down here, talk to you, have dinner, and they don't see us again, that's going to be more suspicious than if we go pick up our gear and say, hey, we've got some great jobs here. Thanks for the ride. We're going to ditch. Well, I mean, as I said, uh, I can relay that message uh, to the to the uh, to the to the um, uh, the freighter. I can't think of the freighter's name. Sorry, it was my I, fault. But does it, wouldn't wouldn't you be a little suspicious if you were a captain on a ship and some of your passengers got off and no. somebody else told you that they moved on instead of them themselves? No, not particularly. And GM the player, you are way too paranoid. A lot of you, <laughs> seriously. That's why we survived Volturnus. Uh, well, possibly. <laughs> and maybe that's why we're good at what we do. Well, are you, are you good at what you do? That's the question. Uh, you, managed, you managed to pull your ass out of the fire a few times, but does that, is that the same thing? <laughs> it's so more than his crew's managed to do. True. But you guys are specialists. His crew aren't, aren't specialists in that regard. I mean, yeah, you have uh, to, look, you if you, have to if you trust need to... us at one point or another. Oh, he's already trusted you with the information he's given you, seriously. Absolutely. And that's my point. If, if he's worried about us returning to the freighter to get our gear. No, it's, 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 I'll, I'll, send, I'll send Curtis with you. He can help carry some of it. If you, he's going to, him and a couple of the other crew members are going to transfer the, go with you anyway to transfer the, the kit. So, yeah, we'll do, we can do that, I suppose. Anything else you want to cover off before we, uh, before we agree to all this? No, I can't think of anything. All right. Well, he holds his hand out to shake to to form the agreement with everybody. Okay. Well, Chaz will shake. Yeah, definitely. Yep. I give him a forehand shake. <laughs> Vogue says, "No deal unless you shake all my hands." Oh, <laughs> Okay. So, literally seconds after you've you've all shaken hands, um, the ship's alarm the ship's alarm sounds. Klaxon goes off, and I'm having trouble with the with the sound system at the moment, which is why I don't have it for, have it set up for you. But otherwise, I'd play you the ooga ooga ooga. Um, I prefer you saying ooga ooga. You would. Uh, the captain uh, <laughs> captain is. is Captain Aziz uh, presses a button on his chronochrome, listens to it for, for a few seconds. Um, it's too faint for you to hear what is said. Uh, after a few seconds, the captain surges to his feet and starts to rush out of the room. And he, as he does so, he says, follow me. What do you do? Follow. following. Jazz will follow. All right. Um, he leads you down... Uh, down a corridor or so and you end up in what appears to be and I'll have a map for you later um, a common room um, when you enter the common room whatever it is there is a robot with a rather gorilla like face um, standing in the middle of the room in a well in a boxing stance basically um, um, there is an individual, uh, a Vrask individual, lying unconscious, not too far from the feet of this gorilla robot, for want of a better term, gorilla bot. Um, and there's a Dralocyte crewman uh, in an obvious state of panic pressed against the far wall. Um, the gorilla bot is definitely in a fighting stance. 
um, as you as you come in, um, uh, the dralocyte uh, sings out across the room, Captain, uh, Griller went crazy when he was working out with Dacor. Um, just attacked him. I don't know why. Attacked him for real. Um, please don't destroy him. I'm sure it's just a, a bug of some sort. Um, the doc, can you give me a quick diagnosis roll? Okay. The Vrusk, the Vrusk lying on the, uh, sorry, the Vrusk lying on the floor, not near the feet of the gorilla bot, um, has been badly beaten. Lots of contusions, uh, obviously knocked out. Um, unless you get closer for a proper, a proper diagnosis, this is what you see from a, this is what's obvious. Um, there's no blood, um, apart from subcutaneous contusions, blood bruising. Um, but they're looking pretty bad, the bruises. He's been beaten up pretty, pretty solidly. Um, what, does anyone want to do anything? Tell, tell Doc to hold on a minute. Stay back, Doc. Okay, well, the gorilla bot turns to face you guys, again, in the, uh, in the, in the fighting stance that it has. Um... What do you guys want to do? Ceres will go ahead and pull out her knife and turn it on. Bad Voke pulls out his sonic stunner. <laughs> Jazz pulls out his uh, electro stunner. And I don't think Babu brought anything, so he's just ready to punch. I should gas him, but I'll move away. All right. Uh, what and yeah, what do you want to do, guys? You guys gonna shoot him? Yeah. yeah. And yeah. then if he gets close, let Cerise try to disable him. Okay. Well, um, well, he's an ape. He's not a robot, right? No, he's a robot. Gorilla, gorilla bot. A gorilla bot. Oh, I thought he was one of the super apes. Nope. No. He's a bot. Oh, okay. And if you if if you had to guess, you'd say it was some sort of um, sparring bot. That's gonna hurt. It's a spot. It's a it's a gross spot, gross spot. Um, yeah, I don't know if those stunners will work. Otherwise, I'll try and disable him. All right, so you're going. In, okay, so well, look, let's let's do some. Let me. I'm gonna change that. Um, or do I know that an electro stunner will is useless against a robot? Oh, you know it's against oh. robots, yeah. What about a sonic stunner? stunner? Same with sonic stunners. It's nothing to stun. Electro stunner's got a damage setting. Ah, so. that's different. Yeah. No, that's going to take forever for you to knock it down. Yeah, we just um, have to get Ceres close. So I'll say, okay, Babs, you're going to have to distract it while I jump, get on its back. Okay. Well, in that case, look, you better give me some initiatives, please, guys. So Cat got an 11. And Therese got a 13. And Jazz got a 15. And Vote got an 8. And Doc got a 10. Oh, yeah, Doc couldn't see it. And Babu got an 11. Okay, so Jazz, you've got first action this round. Uh, I don't recall how many. Oh, you know what? Um, by default, he, his electro stunner would have been on stun. So Jazz yeah, would flip it yeah. to lethal. Um, okay, well, damage, yeah. Yeah, so that's a bit of damage. And then I assume he'll only have enough actions for one shot after flipping it. Yep, that's right. Okay, so we'll just take one shot uh, at the bot. Mm -hmm. Well, you hit the bot. And do 16 points of damage. 
And the yep. Dralocyte pressed up against the wall behind the bot. No, it's the wrong one. Hang on, sorry. No, he's the right one. Um, yells out, no, please don't damage him. Uh, I'm just going to attention. <laughs> All right. Uh, Cerise, you've got next action. So Cerise is going around to the backside to try to get to the uh, panel. All right. You're going around the, um, you get, you're, you're maneuvering around the room, are you? Uh, yeah. I don't know how far away it is. If I can get to the oh, back it's... panel this turn or whatever. Yeah. You probably get, well, it, it, it's a starship rec room. So, it's six to eight meters square, yeah. <laughs> so yes, you certainly make it around there. Um, the uh, the the gorilla bot um, looks at both Jazz and Cerise as if as if trying to make up its mind who is the greater threat. Um, are you actually moving up to the gorilla bot, or are you just moving around? maneuvering for it if, if i can get to the back panel I, I don't remember what we said does it takes one turn to one turn to get... the, yeah one turn one turn to open the panel once you get there and then the, and then you can flip it off the turn after so could he okay. do it this turn could he open no. it this turn nope okay no, it takes so a, it takes i want to get to, to wherever it. it is that i have to be so the next turn i can open up the panel all right so you are approaching the gorilla bot that's fine it's need to know yes. Okay, fine. Arms now, down. Bab <laughs> Babu and Cat and the Gorilla Bot all go at the same time. So, what are the three? What are you two planning to do, Babu and Cat? Uh, is there something around that I could use as an improvised club? Um, your rifle bat? Oh, you we don't. don't have a rifle? We don't have any rifles. Hmm. I mean, you could you could pistol whip him, I suppose, with the butt with the butt of your needle pistol if you've got that on you. Yeah, it's pretty shit. Um, uh, so there's not like a chair or something. That... Well, there are, but the 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 this is a rec room as opposed to a dining area. So there's a couple of benches along the wall, but it's a spaceship, so they're fixed. Yeah, fair. Uh, balls. Okay, she's just gonna shoot a waste With what? and and With... the needle or pistol on her wrist. The, uh, the sleep needle or pistol. Yeah, it's not one, gonna the, do the much. one that does one to ten. It's not going to do anything, but it's hopefully going to take the fire off of Cerise. <laughs> All right. Well, don't, don't do it. We'll wait for a second. Babu, what were you planning on doing? Babu is going to jump up and down like an ape and move in towards it like he's ready to box it. Okay. Right. Um, so you've done that. In, uh, I'll, in, I'll advance the turn counter. Okay. Um, so I've got three viable. I've got four viable targets at the moment. Well, the gorilla bot's got four viable targets at the moment. So let's roll the dice. See which one it chooses. And uh, apparently, it, apparently, it uh, heads towards you, Babu, Babu um, and uh, goes to uh, basically charges you, um, and so goes to pummel you. Um, so it swings its arms at you, um, misses with the first arm, so no chance of a grapple, uh, and misses with the second arm. You managed to, manage to distract it completely, Babu. Uh, Kat, um, you were going to shoot at it, I believe? Yeah. I'll probably end up shooting Babs in the ass. <laughs> is, uh, is Babu wearing a skin suit? I believe so. I think so. Well, you've hit the gorilla bot. Okay. Eh. You do some damage. Pew, pew. How many shots are you taking, by the way? Uh, that's a good point. I have three. Let's just do all three. Let's see if I can annoy him. Okay. <laughs> that's a hit again. Damage. Oh, hey. nice one. And the third and final. Whoopsies! <laughs> you know who you, you know who you shot, don't you? <laughs> Roll the damage. Okay, three points. Three points, um, Babu. 
And I believe you have to take a current stamina check for the sleep for the sleep in it, the sleep. It, it doesn't it doesn't work against skin suits. Does it? No. Nah. Oh, okay. In that case, no damage at all. You feel needless. Hey, guys. Yeah. Uh, sorry, uh, my wife is calling me. She needs some help with the uh, with the kid. Um, I okay. think I need someone to take me over for a little bit. Yeah, well, we're going to, we'll be wrapping up in about forty in about twenty minutes. So if you don't make it back in time, whatever. But I'll free up the character so someone else can take it over. Okay. All right. Thank you. So if if, if you don't come back, Merry Christmas and all the rest of it, and we'll see you in a month's time because we're not playing next fortnight. I've got to go for a biopsy. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah. Ho hopefully you make it back. Okay. Thanks. No worries. Um, yes, yeah, so that was you, Cat. Doc, what are you doing? I'm backing out of there. <laughs> okay. Vogue? Uh, we'll go get, we'll go next to Babu and get punched with him. You know. Okay. You gonna, are you going to attack the robot this round? Or are you just going to try and distract it further? Just try and distract it. Okay, no worries. And that can case, try to should... dodge. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, good move. Uh, you're dodging, are you? Good, I'm glad you told me that. Um, initiatives, please, people, again. Uh, only 10 this time, Cerise. Wow, that's really sad. Babu, you're up. Babu's going to just dodge. Okay. He's just going to sit there and weave like a boxer. Yep, okay, that's fine. Vogue? Same thing. Okay. Cat? Uh, given that there's, there's enough people distracting it, um, uh, where is the where is the person who is down? Uh, not too far from the feet, oh, not too far from the melee combat, um, but uh, certainly reachable if you were to try to do that. Yeah, can I can I go? Would I be able to jump in there, grab him, start dragging him out? Uh, you could certainly jump in there. Um, I'll give you a um, a, a reaction speed. Um, uh, actually, I'll give you a half reaction speed, half dex to grab him, um, and then depending on that roll, um, a, a quick strength check to pull him out. Uh, what's half of that? So it would be... Uh, so you want half of each added together, right? Added together and yeah. rounded off. So 35 plus 26, uh, 50... 61. 61. 61. Nope. Bum, bum. nope. And you're technically now a melee target if the bot wants to attack you. But it hasn't been. So yeah, it's, well, it's got, it's got other people, people there. there. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Um, end your turn, Jazz. All right, oh, Jazz. Oh, you took Jazz, did you? Jazz will do what he did last time and give it a smack. A smack? You shoot it, you mean? Ah, uh, with the Electra Stunner. Oh, I thought, uh, yeah, okay, yep. That's what he did last turn. Yeah, 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 yep, 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 yep. But the Electra Stunner is a pistol. Oh, really? I thought yeah. it was, ah, oh, okay. Gotcha. So, shoot I, I, it, so yeah. yeah, you're going to shoot it, or are you going to shoot yeah, it? Yeah, shoot it, shoot right? it. Yeah. That's fine. I, okay. I, I got the, I, for some reason, I had the impression that the Electra Stunner was like more of a, shock stick thing but i guess that's mm. a stun stick that's a stun stick no like yeah. an electro stunner is a is a yeah a pistol wow wow that's so good <laughs> <laughs> okay um is that yeah and that's you, you only get one shot with an electro stunner i believe i think so yeah yeah cerise pulls the panel off uh, okay, a quick a quick dex check for, a quick check dex check for that. Basically, don't don't critically fail it. You critically failed it. No, you didn't. Um, yeah, the panel's now open, off or open or whatever. That's good. Doc, you're still backing out of the room. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, unless I see someone go down. Yeah. Well, apart from the crew member who's already down. Yeah. No. Yeah. But okay. Yeah. Okay. Not a, okay. That's not a budget crew member. <laughs> Ooh, nasty. Attacking Babu. Uh, one hit. And he's dodging. Yes. Definitely a hit on that one. Sub 10. Um, so, uh, the first attack does, um, six points of bludgeoning damage. The second attack does seven points of bludgeoning damage. Uh, um, um, oh, hang on a sec. I've just got to quickly find something oh i got a nice picture of the gorilla but i'll show you I'll, I'll show you that next week um no 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 where the hell um I'll tell you what, it, it's locked its arms around you and he's, and he's grappling you, wrestling you, um, Babu. That's fine with him. Uh, and will use its considerable mechanical strength to squeeze the life out of you. Just thought I'd mention that. Um, initiatives, please, people, for round three. So vote got a seven. Uh, Doc got a seven. Cerise got a six. I'm not going first. <laughs> Cat got a twelve. I think Cat might at this stage. Yeah, got a twelve. Babu got an eleven. And Jazz got an eight. You are going first, Cat. Unless the unless the bot gets a better roll. Hang on. And the bot's going on a... Mm -hmm. Okay, Kat, you've got first action. You are standing over the um, fallen form of a beaten up... Uh, Uziri, uh, Vrusk. All right, I, I'll, I will drag the Vrusk out. All right, well, well it, 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 because you're not trying to do it only one round, you don't have to make the, the yeah. dex check again. Just give me a quick strength roll just to make sure you can get clear in time. <sighs> no. Uh, he's Rip. heavier than he looks. Or yeah. She's heavier than she looks, whichever way it is. So it won't be until the next round when you get completely clear, okay? Yeah. Abu, you are, um, you are currently, um, you've got two of your arms pinned. How many arms do you normally carry? I have no idea. Probably, I don't know, is he a biped or tripod? I think he's uh, a tripod. Probably just two and two, given his death. Yeah, yeah so it's two and two. So you, both your arms are pinned. Um, do you want to headbutt him? Kick him or something? I don't know. No, just hold him still. You're holding still, not doing anything? Well, trying to not get squished. Okay, trying not to get squished. All right. Um, automatic squish damage. Uh, 19 points of automatic squish damage. Skin suit help that? Uh, no, skin suit is ballistic. This isn't ballistic damage. It's not impact damage. It's squeeze damage. So in other words, okay. yeah, yeah. Um, it's not rigid enough to do that. Um, jazz. Jazz. That's Ben. Ben, push your talk, mate. Ew. Uh, now, Babu is being squished. Yes. There's not really a chance to uh, shoot it without uh, hitting Babu, right? Uh, yeah, it's probably a good. It's probably correct. Uh, Jazz will help Cat uh, take the Frost um, out. All right. Well, I need again. I need a, a a half dex, half reaction speed, and then a strength check. If you're doing it all uh, in one round, that, that's better. For it's 35 and 32, so 63. Uh, so I make it 66. 
off by five. That sounds like something I would do. That'll do it. Okay, you, all right, quick strength check. Yeah, considering considering you're helping out, yeah. that yes, you managed to drag the rust clear. Um, the crew members that are uh, that have uh, have uh, arrived, uh, obviously one of them is a medic of some sort because he starts work on um, on the uh, on, on the fallen crew member. Uh, end your turn when you're ready, um, Doc. I'll critically observe the medic. The medic work okay. faster. You are you are a better doctor than, than the medic is. I mean, the medic's a medic. You're a doctor. Just thought I'd mention that. Vogue? I will try to get Babu out from the grapple. Right. I need you to make me... Oh, this is going to be interesting. Um, I need you to make me a... Um, I need you to make me an opposed... I mean, you need you to make me a strength check, basically, but it's an opposed strength check, so that's nope. not enough. That's not enough. Um, so you are ineff ineffectively hanging off the gorilla's arm as it squeezes, as it squeezes, um, squeezes uh, Babu. Cerise, you're up. Deactivate. Ah, yes, deactivate. And you're six. It's level four computer. So no, you're not successful. I don't think. Oh, hang so. on. No, no, no. Deactivate, that's right. it doesn't, deactivate it doesn't, doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, I just remembered that. I was screaming with you. So yes, I say the the, the gorilla go, the gorilla get, uh, it gets turned off. It loosens its grip just enough for Babu to be able to squeeze its way out, squeeze his way out. Or he could just squish his way out. That's what it is. Well, either way. Um, so that's the that's that's that. Well done, uh, people. Um, let's uh, reset that and get rid of that. So um, uh, go ahead. I was just going to say, uh, the captain and the crew uh, uh, give you their, you know, thanks. For, you know, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, thanks for your help. Um, wow. What, what the hell caused that type thing? Um, you about to say something? Yeah, Cerise wants to uh, dig into the robot with her robotics to figure out why it malfunctioned. Sure. Um, let me think. That's um, List functions? Uh, just thinking, if there's, if there's anything you need to do first before you list functions, I'm just going through your sheet. I'm looking at it now. Uh, if I can find there, just technical robotics, robotics, activate, add, alter, mission, ID. Uh, well, you, you, you really should ID it first, um, which is a formality, but there you go. It's Yeah, it's a recreation bot. It's a, it's a sparring bot. Um, uh, hang on, what was that? Was the list functions? I'm afraid you cannot list functions at the moment. It's got a security lock on it. Oh, okay. Uh, yes, you managed to bypass the security lock. Now you can list functions and list mission if you wish. Uh, the list functions, um, it's got functions basically for self defense, um, it's also got a, a non lethal. Um, uh, a non-lethal uh, um, uh, function in it, um, where, which would uh, stop it from um, causing uh, lethal damage. In fact, um, a non-lethal a non-lethal function like this basically is don't don't cause real damage. It's supposed to be a sparring bot, not a complete, not a not a combat bot. In that right. Regard. So how can I tell what went wrong? Uh, you can do some analysis on on well you, on the mission and the functions if you wish. So maybe alter mission, alter function. Uh, yeah, alter that would be the role. It would be altering it, but it, that would be the role. You're doing functional functions. Yes. Which function? The self defense or the or the um, or the um, or, or the uh, the other issue. They're tied together, so it doesn't make a difference. The do um, no harm part. Yeah, yeah. Um, look, it takes you a while to do an analysis, like several like sent several tens of minutes it's not an instant um so um you know we're going to split the time up a little bit differently here um but it appears that there's a coding bug in the self-defense software is there any way to look at when that might have been introduced well there's no comment there's no comment code around the the code and i mean it's not source code it's object code to start with if you know the difference yeah. Um, well, some people don't. That's why I asked the question. Um, yep. um, so there, there, there's no source code 
uh, there's no source code available. I mean, you've seen source code before, um, but we, by the analysis of the object code you're looking at, there appears to be, um, the, yeah, it's, it's, it, 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 it's a bug in the code that causes it to, for some reason, um, disengage the non-lethality parts of the function and um, the robot basically was, uh, was operating under, a self, under its self-defense because it had been attacked. So is there a way to tell when that code, you know, when it was last altered? No. Does it no have way. any, any this, file this, dates? Not, the, not, this, not, not this one doesn't. Um, in fact, um, if you give me another alter, alter functions role, which is the equivalent of what we're doing, um, it's, even though you're not altering the function, it's the same role. Right. Okay, yeah, look, that one, um, that basically um, the timestamps on the mission, which you still haven't, don't know what the mission was, um, and the self-defense and security lock functions are corrupted. You can't tell. They could have been done seconds ago. It could have been done decades ago. They make no sense. In fact, one of the, one of the dates on one of the functions is nonsensical. It doesn't make any sense at all. Is this is this stuff that you would be uh, saying out loud, Cerise, or would you be keeping it to yourself? Yeah, no, definitely sharing it and want to show it to Cat. Yeah, well, Cat's not a computer unless she's got computer skills. She's not a computer expert. Um, Cat is. And no, Cat's a computer expert. She's not a robotics expert. And the robotics programming is different enough from regular programming that while she would have a very good appreciation of what you're saying. And can yeah, certainly but, see the corruption of the file dates. There's no way she could do anything with the software. I, I would certainly know that storage can be corrupted by electromagnetical storms. Uh, yeah, and, but that's on stuff the, like that. But, but hang on, yeah, that's fine. But that's several hundred thousand kilometers away. Mm. On on Ventura, in the atmosphere of Ventura, there's no way that. I mean, you could ask whether this robot's ever been down there. The answer will be no, because <laughs> it hasn't. Mm. I'll give you that one for free. So there's no, I mean, there's been no electrical storm around around the money, uh, the money spider, the money, uh, the monkey. Oh, I've forgotten the name of the ship. Yeah, the money spider. Is it the money spider? Yep. yep. Yes, money spider. Yeah, the money spider. Um, there's been no, there's been no, nothing unusual uh, as far as you're aware. I mean, you can always ask the crew. Mm. So very unusual. Oh, by the way, are you going to do a uh, are you going to do a list mission? No, there's not a role there. So you, for you, list you, use, you use you use you use list, mission. You, you, you use no you use list function for the mission, but you got to do the mission. Yeah, it's a basic sparring robot. Its mission is to provide non-lethal. Uh, non-lethal sparring, com uh, non-lethal hand-to-hand sparring combat with whoever, uh, whoever active, whoever um, steps up to it, basically, in a I'll combat look, stance. I'll look for similar um, issues with the mission. Again, the mission, the mission, um, the mission um, uh, timestamp again is one of the ones that's that's corrupted. Um, the mission itself looks all right. As in, you know, it seems reasonable. There's nothing unusual about the mission itself, as far as you're aware. So I'll share it with the captain and tell them that they need to leave it deactivated until they can get it completely wiped and reprogrammed. That's yeah, well, something... you, could, you, you, you could do that for them. It'd take you several hours, though. Yeah, it's not a priority right now. No, I know. Right? Uh... Charge a fee. Charge a fee. <laughs> <laughs> Keep the fee yourself. Keep the fee yourself. No, that's what uh, I was thinking. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's what. Happened. So basically, everything comes down. They cut the uh, they cut the, the the poor crewman off to the um, to the infirmary, the sick bay. Um, the the Duralocyte, um comes over and, and he's very interested in um, what's going on with the robot. He, he's treating it like almost like a, a, a an injured pet at the vets. Um, he's probably the robotics expert for on the on the ship. Um, yeah, so I'll, sorry, go yeah, on. Yeah, so I'll, I'll I'll ask him if he knows robots, and if so, I'll show him what I found. Yeah. 
Yeah, he goes. Yeah, he says, "Wow, that's unusual." Yeah, and you fall into you fall into um, um, geek speak about robots in general, and yeah, what's going on. Um, he can't work out what happened. Um, I don't. I've, I've got his stats somewhere, but I'll find them later. It's not worth it at the moment. Um, is there anything else you guys want to do tonight? I would. In, I would before suggest you, before to you... him that he uh, in, in, go through all his other robots on the ship here and validate all their functions and missions on all of them that's probably a good idea yeah yeah I'll, yeah I'll do that yeah um if there's nothing else you guys want to do before the shuttle leaves in four, four or five hours because it's after midnight now uh, uh ship time i think have cat take a look at the transmission see if she can decode more of it or fit some of it uh no this uh, did, she could tell you now it's not her really her area of expertise and, and there's not much else she can give that's basically what they got um so um yeah it's not really cat's area of expertise it's more your area of expertise really um Why? and well technician repair oh but um well, Cerise is the same difference. Um, Peter has but, repair um, as well. Yeah, yeah, I know. But, I mean, um, that's that's the skill that would come under, technician repair. But you know yourself that if that's all they received, then that's all they received. Okay. Um, if, if you had been on the subspace radio at the time of the transmission, you may have been able to tighten it up a bit at the time, but not post, like, you know, 30 days later type thing. So, so yeah. That's anyone, what what, think of. Right, anyone else want to do anything before you, the shuttle leaves in the morning? Apart from pack your gear and get your gear from the ship and all the rest of it. Does anyone um, when we get you? the gear f from the ship, if there's a chance to insinuate to the captain or let him know how long we're going to be or slip in something like that, I'll do that. All right. Let me hang, let me let me see. Hang on. Just hold on. Um. No, an opportunity like that does not present itself, not out of earshot of any of the Money Spiders crew. Well, I figure he knows our mission is to spy on them, right? Is that yeah. Spionage? And he's just been told that we've been that we've been offered and we've accepted a job aboard here. So he's like, oh, well, yeah, he can make he can put two and two together. Probably. What better way to gain information than to work for them? Yeah, um, exactly. So, um, yeah. So you manage to gather your gear. You're shown to the cabins. Um, you pack whatever gear you're going to take with you down, down to the snowball, pla uh, down to the uh, flotsam. Uh, sorry, the jetsam uh, platform. Um, and um, and yeah. Does anyone want to do anything before the shuttle leaves? No, I'm all good. You want insurance policy? <laughs> your insurance policy. Do you want to write your last will and testament? Yeah. I'll no, do. but I, when the, with the shuttle, I am taking the weapons that we had on our ship. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Um, so, yes, I'll you'll write here. it out. Okay, fair enough. All right, listen, um, that's, we've been going for about four hours, guys. That's a good place to leave it before the shuttle actually departs. And anyone, anyone got any objections to that? Nope, perfect. All right. Hopefully, everyone's enjoying themselves. Yep. Um, uh, the uh, hopefully the, the, this new chapter is unfolding to everyone's satisfaction so far. Um, you bunch of paranoid individuals. Uh, I uh, I uh, will we'll, we'll, unless someone's got any objections, we'll wrap it up there. Um, thanks for playing. Thanks for watching. We'll see everybody in four weeks' time, um, which is the first weekend after New Year, I think. I think it's January the 3rd. Is that right? Does that sound right? Sounds right. Sounds right. Uh, something like that. Um, so thanks for playing. You want to get those, play those credits, yep. please, um, and... Uh, Ryan, and we'll see everybody later. Yep, and here they go. Well, that's it for this session. We hope you've enjoyed the game as much as we did. We'd like to thank Smiteworks, Sirenscape, and Twitch, and, of course, all the fantastic people involved with the Star Frontiers RPG over the years. I'm Dulux Oz. And on behalf of the entire gaming group, we'd like to say thanks for watching. We'll see you all next time. Until then, may your God go with you.